What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Wiley Show. We are live yet with another episode, and it's a lot that we have to um, discuss in this video. Um, we got to get into it, so we're going to give y'all a couple of more minutes to come on in here. Uh, we got people over there on station that we waiting they come on over here uh, because it's a lot that we have to discuss today. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to do it early because it's a lot. I mean, Oprah, she's going on Zoom tonight. Monica from All About the Tea going on Instagram tonight. So my night going to be kind of busy. Okay. Then I got to get it in at the gym, if you know what I mean. Okay. So station here, y'all head over to YouTube. I'll give y'all enough time to head over to YouTube. Give y'all enough time to head over to YouTube. All right, station here. Y'all just want to be over here be nosy. I got to let you go. Go station, go to YouTube, okay? Um, welcome. Hey, everybody. Hey, Queen B. Moore. I see you in here. I see you in here, Queen B. Moore. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. This has been amazing. Uh, 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 been amazing. Okay, I love you. Um Welcome. Who else is in here? I see Tasha. Hey, everybody. Hey, 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 hey. When y'all come on in here, welcome. Y'all is in here deep tonight. Welcome. Okay. Y'all is in here deep tonight. Okay. I'm just making sure the sound is good. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all is in here deep tonight. Okay, welcome. Will y'all come on in here? Show some love. Oh my gosh, show some love. Hey, welcome. Hey, 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 hey. How you doing? Hey, how you? I'm good. Long time no tea. You said long time no tea. No, first of all, we are live on the broadcast and we're going to be talking about Taraji P. Henson. Um, and her crying that she's broke and about the pay disparities, right? Not getting paid fairly like her white counterparts. And so, of course, we talked about that in a YouTube short. And we had our reasonings and we posted on Facebook. We posted on Instagram. I'm assuming you saw the Instagram live or the reel that we did. And I said, where was this energy for Taraji when Monique was out? Hello, my loves. When she was talking about... The not getting Perry fairly on Netflix, not only making fifty thousand dollars for Precious, etc., and not being paid to promote the movie, and now Taraji is on tour with Oprah uh, and talking about not getting paid fairly. My question is: Did Oprah did they did they pay her fairly? I highly doubt it. That's why she's crying. But baby, you need to call out Oprah. Uh, all of these execs, y'all going like crying. But were y'all crying when Monique was saying y'all called her bitter? Not Taraji, but to the, the public, they called her bitter. They said she needs mm -hmm. to shut up. And then sh years later, people are screaming that they're not getting paid fairly. But Monique was the first one to say it. So now I have on the air right with us via phone. And I met this brother on the Zeus Network when, okay, of course you didn't make it to the Zeus, nobody really made it on Zeus Network. They had y'all paying all that money and not giving y'all no water. Uh, DQ Music is your Instagram name. Cause the last time I talked to you, you was going through dehydration cause you wanted to be on Bad Boys. But what do you have to say about Taraji uh, crying broke? <laughs> everybody how y'all doing Wally well, so um what I was gonna say is Taraji been speaking about pay disparity in Hollywood. If you Google Taraji pay, you guys will see that Taraji is an advocate. Now she might have not spoken out when, you know, uh as you said, uh Monique went on her press tour with the whole Netflix and that, but you gotta give her credit. This lady has been vocal about this for years. If you if you Google it, it's like links where it's seven years back she's been talking about pay and how it's unequal to men and how it's unequal for women and how it's unfair i just think that she's tired and you know we all get tired so i, I just don't want you or most people to change the narrative to compare it to another sister because that's what we do in the black community so much we kind of you know find a way to change the narrative even with christian keys 
I agree with you with that one, where he is kind of like gaslighting. But when it comes to her, I don't think she's gaslighting this. I think that this is something that she's trying to show she's tired of. And it's not about Oprah. You know what I'm saying? Because from what I heard, Oprah and, 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 and Whoopi got into it. But I don't really care about two old, bitter, rich people that are playing because Whoopi, I don't care nothing about her because when Monique was on The View talking about not getting paid fairly, Monique spilled the tea that Whoopi Goldberg said, stop worrying about the little girls that's not here yet. You need to be worried about your damn self. So we know Whoopi Goldberg is trash. But when she talked about the Jewish community, they really reminded her that you're not a Goldberg. You is a, a, a black woman because that's not her real name. Whoopi Goldberg, that's not her real name. Somebody posts her real government name and they reminded her of her government name when they suspended her. Right. Because she really thought that she was so beloved on The View and she said something about the Jewish community and they canceled her and they suspended her without pay. So she was reminded very quickly that she was a black woman. But let's be clear about Taraji. Let's be crystal clear on this. When Monique was going through the fight, there was no Taraji putting out, go ahead, sus, I'm with you. She stayed silent. She started talking once the Empire was over. And then she started talking about, you know, of course, the movie that she did um, with, with the white man. What was his name? He gets. Yeah, she been talking. She been talking about it. But what we're saying is the public saying when Monique was screaming out, Holly Black Hollywood was silent. They were silent, even when it came to that Netflix deal. Let's make let's let's make sure we're clear. The reason why Black Hollywood was silent is because of the way she was presenting it. First, she tried to say that all these people was trying to take her down. Not saying she was wrong, but, but it was you right though. You gotta understand, you gotta understand the drama of it all. But the drama was again, once people not paying you fairly and they're trying to blackball you, because let me lay it out for Monique. This black woman promoted precious, did everything right. They wanted her to travel overseas, and she said, You know what, guys, I got downtime with my children. And Oprah called again and said, girl, what can we do? We have, she said, is it a number with me promoting this movie? They said no. Do you know that actresses that promote movies, they're doing it for free? Did you know that? That they don't get paid for their hotel stay, their flight, their team, their makeup, their hairstyle. They're literally doing that for free. Right now, Kevin Hart negotiated in his deal, because this never really happened until Kevin Hart, that he, if you want me to promote this on my social media with my massive platform, you got to put that in the deal. When they leaked those emails, they were trashing Kevin Hart because North Korea, they leaked, they had a hacker to leak the emails of them uh, high powered studios. And they was dragging Kevin Hart, hoping that his movie flopped so they don't have to pay him so they, so they can move on because he finally told those people in power those executives to pay me fairly. What gets me with these black actresses, what gets me with them is that they're crying out but put an address on it. Stop with the tears. Tell the public who is the white man, who is these people that's not paying. You need to be like Malcolm X. You need to put a name on it. Tell us their name. Who is lowballing you and put them and make them famous. But you crying, girl. Bro, like okay, well, shut up, Dean. <laughs> but hey, you're being hard when you can be on YouTube and create a platform and say whatever the hell you want to say. But when you when you're dealing with an industry where it's a small room and it's a small group of individuals, it's gatekeepers. Just like the same thing with P Diddy, that shit is real, bro. And the same thing with she said it has something to do with color purple too. If you Google it, she said even the color purple tried to or did not pay her what she's worth. And she was not going to do the movie. So she's hurt. She did it, but she's hurt. And that's what that is. I get what you're saying, where was she and, and the public, but you can't compare it to this. It's like what black people do to each other all the time. I get it, she but my thing is, about, if you're screaming about not getting paid fairly, you got to speak up and put a name on it so the public can activate 
and, and really be educated, be like, okay, this is going on. When Monique said it, she opened up the door. It, because of Monique's courage, Netflix paid her what she deserved. They gave her special, and it was more than uh, uh, $500,000, right? Because she sued them. It took a while. It took a while, but in the long run, she got it paid back. Even she's right now, Monique is suing the Parkers, the people, the studios with the Parkers, because she had ownership in the Parkers, and they tried to lowball her there. Now, they owe them so many checks. And she said, just give me what I signed and put in my contract that she has some type of ownership of the show. So, again, Monique have called it out. Taraji, again, with those tears, baby, I see the tears. But until you really to put on your big girl panties and do what Monique did, you can save me with those tears. Because put a name on it. Well, well, again, baby, what does it profit you not getting blackballed and you getting pennies on the dollar? Well, then, well, she needs to stop crying then. Stop trying to be Monique and stop trying to cry. Because if you're not... Because she been talking talk, but my thing is she she talking about she not putting a name on it you know how to talk about the direct okay. one thing about monique one i understand that but one thing about monique is that she named the netflix people by name she named her attorney name so what taraji need to do and see what gets me with people that keep talking about i don't want to be blackballed if you're suffering financially, you already blackball, right? And technically, it's not even called blackball. You're being whiteball because ain't no black balls the gatekeeper of Hollywood like that compared to the white ball. Can we get an amen on that? That's just like, for example, that's just like you being on YouTube and you not having this as a platform. Where else can you go? There's only a limited amount of spaces that have the pull and push that YouTube has. If you take that away, what do you have? Myself, you myself, you my talent, my skill set. It's so many other things that you can have. You can have, all of this. You can have, all, you can have one, all of this. It's so many social media companies. It's not just one person in town. What Taraji and others have to do, if you're not getting paid fairly, then you need to call it out. And then, and then you need to be like, listen, let me start just give me a YouTube channel because technically she can make more money going on YouTube than to be doing these movies and they ain't really making no money like that. Because when I, my understanding, another actress said, y'all got, they got to spend money for hair, makeup. They spending all of this money. They can't afford it. Right, and, right. The tweet that she put out, she is like, girl, these people is not, it's a lot of these mainstream stars that we love. They're living check to check. They're about one paycheck, one project of being homeless. Like, I stand with Taraji all day. I stand with everybody that speak up. But spare me with the tears if you're not willing to put in the work and fight. I have to be harsh because she needs to hear this. I've been in this situation. I've been in this. Yes, they're in that situation of being. We black. We black in here. I work in an industry that CNAs. I work in an industry. Right. I get that. I work in an industry where CNAs don't get paid fairly. I've stood up for higher pay for CNAs and got fired. So you can't tell me I've never stood up. I stood up for it and continue to stand up for it to this day. The issue with these actresses and actors, the reason why the public really don't give a damn about them, because y'all still making more money than Pookie and Ray Ray that's working at Walmart or FedEx or, 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 or any of these other McDonald's or Burger King. Let's be technical, because the average person don't have a stylist, don't have a suit, uh, people that uh, uh, drive you around, makeup and all that. You barely can make ends meet. That's why a lot of people don't give a damn about Taraji, because they like, girl... You still got more money than me. I can't even pay my rent. And right now, I'm behind eight, nine months, the average person. So again, I think what Taraji have to understand is either A, you either going to fight or B, continue to get lowballed. Because until you keep doing the same thing over and over and they keep on saying, I will continue to discredit her. Yes, because she needs to be called out. Because 
I get you. I'm not on her. I'm telling her how to be an activist. You can't just, okay, you've been crying forever. We tired of your tears. You keep on crying. Now it's time for you to activate. She been crying. This is the first time we've seen her cry on camera, but she been crying about this forever. I'm telling her to drop them tears. Put up. I, I get that. I get that. Put on your put on your overalls. Get to activating and do that work. Because again, you crying. That means you've been in the injury almost 30 some years, not getting paid fairly. So you're gonna wait for another 30. You got to stand up. And that's she has not been waiting, Bobby. She she ain't been fighting back like they should. She have no, she have not been fighting back like she should. She haven't done enough. She should have called out Oprah Winfrey. What she should have said with them tears, she should have said, it is time for Oprah Winfrey. It is time for Tyler Perry. It is time for these black six uh, billionaires to call out these white folks that's giving us these pennies on the dollar and then call out those white people. If you're not willing to do that, then shut up because we don't give a damn about them tears because she ain't put an address on it like Christian Keys and put an address on it. We need the name. Who's giving you the low ball? What is their name? Hold on, wait a minute now. Christian Key's been gaslighting this whole situation. If you are gay and you already know that man been out, people been knowing about him in the streets. So let's talk about it there. Christian Keys and Taraji is two different things. But what I'm saying is, whether it's Christian or Taraji, I'm saying this, sir, verbatim. Put a name on it. If you're not willing to put a name on who's lowballing, I think she's doing that for clout to go viral to sell her hairline. And if you're not willing to put a name on it, I think you're lying. I think you're doing this. How do you know that they've done that? Again, she needs to put a name on it. But all of them sit them tears. You can spare me with them tears because I really don't care nothing about the tears. My heart ache for Pookie and Ray Ray and Shaquita and them that are suffering in the hood. My heart ache for this lady in Chicago. The elevator is broken and she can't get to the first floor unless it's an emergency because the company don't want to invest and upgrade the uh, apartment with better elevators. That's who my ache for. You think my heart ache for Taraji when you have makeup artists and all that? She don't want to put an address on it and I just want to have some sympathy girl by. I'm not, I'm just telling it. She, she ain't telling the people what to do. Okay, I just get through crying. What we supposed to do about it? Monique told us to protest Netflix, and we protest Netflix for her. And I went to Monique's show. See, Monique gave the public action. She said, how about we boycott Netflix for gender bias and, 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 and for being a woman, all of that. She gave us a direct order. But she, again, but Taraji been doing it longer, been screaming about this money, and she still ain't giving us no direct order but her tears. Only thing I'm going to give her is a box. I'm going to give her some paper towels. Hold on one second, sir. I'm going to give her some paper towels because I can't afford no Kleenex. I'm going to paper towel because this was on two for $5 at Walgreens. This is how much we're going through in real life. I'm going to give her a, a roll of toilet paper, I mean, uh, paper towels, where she can dry them tears, and we're going to roast her on YouTube. At the end of the day. Now, until she stand up and say, we need to protest against Paramount. We need to protest against Netflix. We need to protest against Universal. We need to protest against Disney. Then she can spare me with those tears. And I really didn't even see no water come down her face. She is a trained actress, by the way. I just wanted to tell you that right then and there. But go ahead. Yeah, but that is still taking the narrative, which we do as a black people so well. It's like, let's rally them together instead of making it about Taraji versus Monique. That's not what this is. This it is, is about that. It, how can you not compare the two? Underpaid, bro. Jerome is comparing it. Let's talk about Zeus. Now, you from, you tried to get on the Zeus network, correct? And do you know that Zeus do not be paying them? Half of them stars that's on Zeus is broke, homeless, have to go sell that Badisi for a dollar because Zeus give them one upfront fee. They don't get none of the revenue, none of the residuals from them episodes. Do you know that? That they don't get nothing, no percentage, no nothing? That's in their suffering because, and the reason why, and then Zeus Network, some part of Zeus Network seemed to me kind of like a Ponzi scheme, a little bit, a little bit of a Ponzi scheme because you have these people going there and this hot 
beaming sun, hoping to be a star when you already got a cash and you use them people just to produce a new show without paying them. That is slavery and they black. So again, but are we willing to call them out? So let's talk about it. So let's talk about it since you want to talk about this. So if we're going to talk about it, there's not too many opportunities for gay, black, African-American males. So when I told, took my butt out there in Houston, Texas, and I went out there to try to get an opportunity, it was to try to get that camera time. It was to try to get that, that, uh, that attention. So it necessarily wasn't just about the paycheck or the money. But you are right. This is happening all across the board with Taraji and Monique is talking about. I just want to know, when is them Zeus people? What is the guy name? I want to say he's from he's from that no the one that I always say Kurt Franklin's son. What is his name? He was on the Bad Boys. Carry on. Not carry on. The one that like carry on. The one that said Kurt Franklin's son. Gutta K. Gutta K is homeless. Yeah. Gutta K can hardly pay his bills. You see how I put an address on it? The man is homeless. I had a friend that lived in the same homeless shelter as Gutter K in Dallas. But what I'm saying is the man was on Zeus and he homeless. He was in the shelter. It's a lot of people that was on TV that was homeless. So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is I'm putting address on it because I didn't know they give y'all one little sum of money and y'all don't get none of the residuals from the episode. No piece of the pie of the subscriber, no nothing. They made millions off of bad boys and got a K is homeless, got to sell that for this. But go ahead. And I have to put them in the same sentence because you got black folks that's low born black talent and you got white people that have been low born black talent since they brought us on the slave ships in 1619 all the way today. He's not the only one that's homeless and he's not going to be the last. The I'm just saying we got to put an address on it because I know a lot of people is begging like Armand Wiggins while we have you here. He's begging to be on Zeus. Do you know they're not paying their people fairly? Armand Wiggins and, and Milagro Grams, they did a whole docu-series talking about Tory Lanez and they didn't get a dime for that episode. And a white woman, Megan Cunip, demanded that they give her something. They gave her $500 stipend. And they didn't give them nothing. Do you know how much money that documentary made? Made millions. And they didn't get nothing. But I guess they got the clout. I guess the clout matters. Taraji P. Hinton got clout. And she's crying right now in tears saying she almost wanted to give up because she ain't been paid fairly. But do you know her name, Taraji P. Hinton? She's worldwide known. And she ain't got the money compared to her white counterparts. I yield back. But go ahead. Statement because in America you can have a name and that doesn't necessarily mean that you got the money to back you. That's all she's trying to say. And then when it comes to opportunities, it all it trickle all the way down the Zeus network because even love and hip hop was not paying their people that much money. It depends on the weight of your name and your stardom. Now when you come to like somebody like a good K or a Jamar. If they didn't have that money and it wasn't that much money they got, then of course they're going to go through some things in life, especially if they don't have their ducks in a row. So you're right, but it, it trickles down to just us being black folks. In this yeah, thing. because again, and this is the thing that I like about Tyler Perry, even though he don't pay his people fairly. Some people he do here and there, but they still not getting paid for what they really worth. Anyway, that's a whole nother conversation, a whole nother day. But what I'm saying is, Yes, this has been going on for a long time. And this is why everybody should look at what Tyler Perry did and build their own entity, build your own studio, fund your own movies, take a risk. Because when you're dependent upon the white man or that white institution, their main focus is not to pay you fairly because you're black. That's a hard truth you must swallow. I don't care how you entertain you are, you still got that black skin. So what you have to do, black people, going to have to start building their own institutions working for self. Because the more you try to work for them, you're going to be like Taraji B. Hinton famous and crying. Because they're not going to never give you what you worth. We still screaming for two acres and a mule, five acres and a mule. We still screaming for reparations. We was brought here on slave ships in 1619. We're still suffering. We still not compared to the white counterparts in wealth and home ownership and industries. We are still in the back. 
So this is going on in every industry when it comes kind of, when it's concerning to us. So, so, so to ask you, what you think? Because you're talking about that's just like people still being scared to say stuff about Diddy, even though Diddy got cases. What you think about that? I think that's foolish too. I think they're enablers. You have to speak up if you want change. You got to do it. Again, we as black men today, as the people that are listening, we wouldn't have the freedom to do this if it wasn't for our ancestors, though the generations way before us, they went and protest, they marched, they laid down their life, they laid down their celebrity status to make our lives better. Yes, we go through a lot of stuff as black men, and then you can add as black gay men, but it's nowhere near what our black gay brothers had to endure in the 90s, in the 80s, in the 70s, in the 60s, in the 50s, in the 40s. There was no Jack. There was no A for A. They have to sneak in the darkness just to screw. But yet, they made it easier, the sacrifice they made for us to be able to screw each other on Jack, A for A, Twitter, Facebook, or at the grocery store. But that wasn't the case back 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. Right. I know, I know what you're saying. So, we, so this generation, okay, baby, you crying. But you got to research those that came before you. You got to put in that work because crying about it ain't going to make them change. You got to make them hey, feel hey, that hey, pressure. Don't, just, don't sleep over her tears like that, man. She doing all that crying. Because Rose, as many people that was crying because they were sitting in the back of the bus and it was disheartening that they had to pay for the bus ticket and then you had to go to the back. And my grandmother told me because she lived during that era. She's still alive to this day. She said you would pay for your bus fare and the, sometime the bus driver will leave you. Soon as you get off to go in the back, they will drive off and still got your money. But somehow those black people woke up and say, you know what? Maybe we need to stop drive, taking the bus and maybe we need to walk. Maybe we need to do carpooling. Their sacrifice is making it easier for us to twerk on the bus, sleep on the bus, eat whatever we can do on the bus because of the sacrifice that black folks made those 30, 40, 50, 60 years ago. So again, for these people in Hollywood, they're going to have to rise up and make that sacrifice. They may not be able to eat from the fruits of their labor, but they will make it easier for the, the girls that we do not see there or the talent that we do not see today. But we must call out Oprah Winfrey because she just as evil as they come. She don't pay people fairly. And when that Hawaii, when the, what happened in the, when the wildfires, what did she do? She asked poor folks to raise money. She could have went in her pocket and gave them $50 million but hun, Dwayne Rock Johnson got up on there and say, donate, call 1-800, donate right now, and donate right up to the fund. And them two billionaires. So again, Taraji, until you call out, until you call out, <laughs> until you call out Oprah and her mismanagement and evilness, then you can shut up with them tears. I don't feel sorry for them tears at all. Because you work for the same evil woman that interviewed Monique's family without her permission and lied about it. And then when Monique confronted Oprah, Oprah said, well, if you think I did something wrong, I apologize. She have been evil and trash since then. And if you don't see it, something wrong with you. But Taraji, you went on and took that role. And yes, they paid you. I. Right. They didn't pay you fairly. And Gail King, while you was in there talking, you know, right then and there, yo, Oprah Winfrey could have made a phone call to make sure Taraji began to get $50 million. I guarantee she ain't getting no $10 million. She probably, at best, probably got $500,000, and she got to split that with her team for giving her the $500,000. But go ahead. I guarantee she ain't getting no $5 million. She Ain't no black actress getting them type of paydays. So my question to you when you shifted it to Zeus, what do you expect for people like you and I to do? Because, again, I waited in that line. All I got was pretty much a little cameo. I did get my ticket, but it was crazy. They about to do the Bad Boys Season 3 audition. What do you think? Like, knowing what you know, would you be like to, you know, to your world, to your, your fans? I think I think what we have to do for Zeus, for the Armand Wiggins, people that have all this clout on YouTube making money, they need to start funding their own institutions. Because again, or calling these people out, it is sad how Zeus is treating their talent. Yes, some of those people are making money, but I'm talking about the gays. When they did their gay show, they didn't get hardly nothing. They, they didn't get nothing. They didn't get a percentage of, I'm talking about every time that episode airs, you get a percentage. Do you know in WWE, if you're a wrestling fan, that they get residuals? 
from their pay per views, yeah, from them being on. The they're literally fighting, bro. Like, the, it's, not, it's not the same. I, I so, but what I'm saying is, regardless of it all, they're the reason why people are tuning in for Zeus, and those people should get a percentage of that. They should not be homeless and stay at extended stays. I'm telling you right then and there, every cast member, that if you do a season of the show, as long as that show air, you get a certain percentage of that season. I personally, it should not be you get one little upfront fee. That's no different than these adult entertainer stars when they was busting it wide open. They paid them what five hundred dollars, fifteen hundred dollars, and they made millions. Do you know to this day is I'm still <laughs> pleasuring myself with stars, and they're no longer here with us, and some in homeless shelters, and they making all of this money. And we can name a whole list. I've interviewed some. I've hosted some of those people in my home. And I couldn't yeah. believe it until one of the adult entertainment stars said to me, he said, no, Wiley, I don't make a dime off that money. I just got paid uh, uh, $800. And I said, you know, they still, he said, yes, he made about millions of dollars. They still making money on it today. Because again, they screw over us so much because again, we're so desperate. Some of us are so desperate to be famous. We want the fame, fame, fame. But baby, you need to be, are you getting paid? Screw the fame if you broke. What does it profit you being famous and you in a soup kitchen? That don't prop you a damn thing. Okay, so I I, I want to respond to that because I'm the person that did go to Zeus. If I would have got that life, I would have thrown and I would have got more bookings. Some of these people that you're talking about, I agree with you. But if you homeless, it's something that you're doing, especially if you had the clout and you already out here, you can get bookings like the good of K and the Shamar. It's something that you're doing because you're still able to, to get, you know, you, you know that 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 attention. Like the bookies, I get, I understand what you're saying about that, but you should not be have to depend on a booking when Zeus is making millions of dollars per month. Per month, they making millions. I just was asking you because of how you're feeling. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, pay those people what they're worth on there, so they don't have to go to Alabama to a club and put them on a fly and be in a hot musty club, uh, 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 just to get. Fifteen hundred dollars when Zeus making eight, nine, ten million dollars per month. They just expanded the brand. They make a lot, and then he don't want to tell you how much. Well, we don't. We're doing good. Well, how much money y'all? Oh, we don't want to talk about. It. Do you know why, Mister? What's the owner of Zeus? What's his name? Lemmy. You know why Lemmy don't want to do that? Because once he opened Pandora's box, that he's grossing a, um, let's just say, thirty million dollars per month. People gonna be like, damn, you only pay me. Twelve hundred dollars, but I guess that's okay because they get to go to a club and get a book hit. <laughs> and see, I want you to know, like, I don't, I don't think that's okay. I know that you said that, you know, we it's like we're in twenty twenty three, about to be twenty twenty four, and you know we came a long way. But if you really look at it, bro, and you listen to the the, the climate and the energy that's going on, as much as you think black people didn't came a long way and black African American gays. All of that the minority group has came a long way, we really have it. And that is what Taraji and that is what Monique is trying to say. If you really, really listen, they're trying to get us to understand that as much as we think, as far as we've gotten, we have it. And that's why you got shows like the Zeus and Love and Hip Hop. Yeah, we have well, well, I disagree. We we have a lot of rights, but the thing about this generation, we got to continue to fight. The fight is still going on. See. I, some people are complacent. They think, oh, mm, I ain't really. No, the fight is still going on to this day. The fight is still, the fight will never stop. Being black, you will never be able to stop fighting. Being black. And let's break it down. Being poor and black, you're going to be fighting for the rest of your life. And so what we have to learn how to be smart and learn how to invest and learn how to pull our resources together because, again, you can't depend on them to rise you up. You can't. Now, it's so it's so many ways for us to make money. Just like, thank God for the YouTube. Thank God for TikTok. Thank God for these, yeah. these ways. And thank God for OnlyFans, right? Because now people are able to take off their clothes to get a coin. At one point, you have to depend on those white adult entertainment companies give you a small little fee, and they're making millions. Now, you can build up your fan base. Open up your bread basket because you know this on YouTube, so we gotta use nickname. Open, pull out your sashes, and then you can charge them nineteen ninety nine or twenty nine ninety nine, whatever amount you want to pay your subscribers. Like Kaisenat, we love Kaisenat, and he got about fifty thousand 
uh, 80,000 subscribers paying $4.99 a month. Now you do the math. He making good money. So that didn't exist back in the 90s. That didn't exist in the 80s. That didn't exist in the early 2000s. Now, because of the internet and the beauty of it, you can really make a lot of money. For now, it's not going to be given to you. You understand this, bro. We have to work towards this because again, I'm just now starting to make a uh starting to make an income on YouTube, right? It was for years I made nothing, right? So, but in order to make the big money like the Casa Nights and the uh Mr. Beast, the number one YouTuber on on uh on YouTube, he's the number one creator on here. You got to continue to put in the work. You got to continue to be able to, and coming on this screen as a black man, <laughs> look the way I look with a cross eye, you have to work twice, three, four times harder because people don't want to deal with that. So again, but yet I wake up every day. I could be like to write to me, oh, they won't watch me. I they pay me fairly. They not share my life, child. I could be just crying and the, I could just be rolling and doing a moonwalk. But either I'm going to cry because I think it's okay to cry, but you got to dry them tears and put in the work. Because while you crying, the yeah, next one is up there putting in the work. But go ahead. When you started, man. Taraji, come on. You you going a little hard on my Taraji who was baby boy. Come on now. So, <laughs> I, know, I like Taraji too. I like her too. I'm not saying I don't like her. I'm just saying like she not telling the public what do you want us to do about it. Like what do you want us to do? The average Joe, what do you want us to do about it? I hear what you're saying, and I hate to play devil's advocate, but I try to give you some type of, you know, information so you can know that the lady been. I know you sent me the articles. You sent me the talk. You sent me. I'm sorry, the real. Yo, you sent me that. But she still didn't put a name on uh, telling us what to do. She just complaining. So you want her to be blackball like Monique? It's not. But again, but now Monique. You ain't seeing her out here talking about protests against Netflix. Why do you think she ain't saying that now? But you got to understand. I'm answer the question. Why do you think Monique ain't out here talking about, uh, hey, my loves, this is 2023. We asked for another protest because they paid her what is due. She had to take that I risk. How long it took her to get to but I, I, I mean, but how long it's going to take Taraji to keep on crying? Because she still ain't being paid fairly. <laughs> That's why... The, the gag, hold on, sir. The gag is she's still crying because she ain't being paid fairly to this day. It wasn't that, remember they had a whole strike about this, so it wasn't just to rise. I'm just focusing on the one right now that's crying. <laughs> so that's to Raji because she still ain't being paid fairly. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. DQ music on Instagram. <laughs> I know, no, no, no. I love you. We got to have this conversation. I would have put you on Street Yard, but I went live through YouTube because I didn't know he was going to come on because you actually go live on your Instagram. But you was you sent me the receipts that Taraji been talking about. Yes, I've watched some of the episodes that she's been talking about this, even when she had a conversation with that um, the one that got fired from ESPN, that black woman. What's her name? She was a black writer or a black commentator with ESPN. Uh -huh. And then she started getting so political and they fired her and she started her own podcast. So, Jamel Hill. yeah, Jamel Hill. Yes. Jamel Hill. Thank you about Jamel Hill. Yes. So she talked about it on Jamel Hill podcast. I remember that. So we get that. But she's going to have to do what Roland Martin did is start and build your own business. Because the more you go begging them, they're going to keep kicking you in your butt. Why do you think Armand Wiggins right now on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram crying? Because you go going to Hollywood. They don't care. And the darker your skin are, the worse they are about you. Because you ain't got yeah, the I complexion. Want, I, want, I wanted to talk about something. But go ahead. I want to I want to talk I want to talk about something real quick. So you are one of the first, like one of you, and I don't know if you know this or you're looking at yourself like that, but you're one of like the only black gay, strong lead, you know, YouTubers. It's not that many. And I and I I, I wanna go to that real quick because okay. you think, oh, it's all these people, all these different people in the world. But it's really not that many places to go. That's why I was trying to I say. agree. I hear what you're saying about that. Yes. So that's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying that's is for us that and I tell my friends that's attractive, I said, Why are you begging when you got the look to make money on YouTube? Like Again, and you said something. I agree with you because if you're homeless, that's because of you. Because with me, if I'm on Zeus, 
Baby, I'm not too proud to go get me a regular job to work at somebody nursing home or somebody hospital or FedEx or Walmart or or in, in Texas or racetrack. I'm not too proud to do that. See, a lot of these girls are suffering because they take that social media following to their head and you can't pay your bills. I don't give a damn if I'm known on YouTube. If I ain't making no money, I'll be right there at McDonald's. Can I take your order? Mr. DQ Music, do you want a fry with that? Do you want an extra large Sprite? We're doing a special. You get uh, 50 chicken nuggets for $10. Like I'm not too proud to work a regular job. Does it make me feel some type of way that people know me on my TikTok and my job and I'm still working a clock in? No. I feel like I got to do what I want to do because I have a goal. I have a purpose because I know I'm not going to be here all <laughs> forever. So I have to do this temporarily. But some of these girls don't need to humble themselves and get a real job and stop just depending on making it in Hollywood because of the success rate. The stats is against you because it ain't too many roles for black Man and black women, and when you say that you wear nails and that you feminine and 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 you smell like perfume and you're a whole man, the the, the space is even limited for you. So again, you better have a plan A, B, and C. This is why I'm in school, about to finish on my bachelor's. I'm on YouTube and I work a nine to five. Okay, because you got to have a plan A, B, C, and keep doing. <laughs> you have to, because if you don't, yeah. Because one thing about you is you're honest about it and you show us your journey. So when we buy into you as a consumer or the fan or the future fan, we know your journey. Some of these people have ego and they're, they think they, they famous already. <laughs> <laughs> and this, but this is the thing. For me, I am famous because I touch so many people. But I know that my fame or the, the people that know, it ain't matching up to my bank account. So I will continue to work a nine to five and I will work my butt off on YouTube, right? And then when I'm done with the camera, okay, back working a nine to five, then I get back on YouTube. You got to keep on uh, 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 the grind, but you know what I'm saying? Because I can sit here and cry. I got bipolar. I got a disability, multiple palsy. I got a brace. Can't afford to get the new shoes for the brace. I can't afford the thing. I can sit here and cry all day, but after you get through crying, you still got to work. You still got bills to be paid. So again, take those tears and, and dry it up. Okay, what is your plan? What is your strategy? And I hope that Taraji B. Henson get a successful production company where she can finance and promote her own movies and, and direct her own movies, where she can make it. Where maybe if she can go on YouTube and do a web series and then pay by subscribers and see me starring it. And it costs $4.95. Because while you sitting there and you promoting these other projects, it's time for you to do your own uh, project. Because now you have Tubi, you have YouTube, you have Patreon. Get your own website and say, okay, y'all go to my website and watch my movie. Now, girl, don't judge me. I'm acting. The phones are limited. So this is yeah. going to be part one. Part one, good. The money up. Then we have a part two. They going More actors need to start doing this. Because you can't keep depending on people at Paramount. Because they're going to always love all you. They will never. You are never their equal. Understand this when you audition and speak with them white folks in that boardroom and them, them white whites. Okay, I, it's white people, but then it's white white. Now, once you see some white white, I want you all to go to this YouTube video. Go to Spoken Reasons. Spoken Reasons talked about the industry, the white white, like white people, but then it's white people, right? And he talked about how they stole from him, didn't pay him fairly, and it drove that man crazy. Now he is some fish pond. They ain't got no fault. It drove him crazy because he really wanted to go to Hollywood. He got there. They stole from him. They screwed him over. Didn't pay him fairly. Stole his ideas because he didn't know. So everybody go to that episode. His name is Spoken Reasons, you guys. And he talked about the, the dark side of, of that industry. Like, it's, it's it exists. Like, baby, I know I'm black and I know what I have to go and face as a black man. And let's not even talk about as a black gay man. But before they see the gayness, they see I'm black. That's why, that's, why I, <laughs> that's why I was trying to tell you. Because I feel like, honestly, Zeus, it was like hot off the press. So that's why I went. I'm not going to lie. Even now, even with everything you said, I would still go because... I need that life. I but you that you life. have a but you have a plan like for me if Zeus come to me yes I would do it because I'm not 
an average person. I know how the game work. You use that more eyeballs and ears. I'm not going to abandon the Wiley show. I'm going to continue to do the Wiley show. I'm not going to abandon what I do and build that up. And then you expand your brand, right? I think that when that door do open, you got to take that door and use it and maximize it. Again, it is some people, because yeah. again, you got to understand who Zeus get. They're getting people, half of them don't have good relation with their families. Half of them are going through in their health. They don't can't focus because the average black person is not studying business, right? In white America, in some parts of white America, they have conversations about stock. They hear this as a child. So when they get it grown, they they it's like it's like putting on a shoe. But in black households, a lot of black households are not really talking about ownership, stocks, bonds, uh, what, what, you know, having, you know, a trust fund, the average family ain't having those conversations because they're trying to make ends meet, but you got white families. And also you do got some successful black families that know the game. I just pray that those successful black families come back to the young, the, the little black folks that ain't and give us that knowledge and understanding. And this is why I try to get gems. And I thank God, me doing this show, I have people that make more money, that's giving me gems, that help make me a better person uh, for my show. So, but I just pray for, for the next generation that is coming, that it's easier. But we we're living in this generation now because I have nieces and nephews by the time they get my age. I don't want them to be having the same talk. I'm not being paid fairly. It ain't paying me right because I'm a black woman. It ain't paying me right I'm a black man. I don't want to see my niece as an actress sitting uh, in a radio station crying because she's not getting paid. She put in the work. She's a top star, but she's making D-list, F-list type of a salary. I don't want that for her life. And I don't want that for my life. I don't want that for your life because if we were dating, I don't want us to be struggling. Just like, what's the other queen... Uh, uh, he ain't a queen, but he's a queen. He's one of the girls. The one that played in Pose, then he lost his house. He, oh, you talking about Billy Porter? Yeah, Billy Porter lost his house, but Billy Porter lost yeah. his house. You got a whole white man. Why? He he white. Like, I just don't understand that. Ain't no way in the world I want to lose my house. I got a whole husband, and he white. You better use that white privilege. I'm just going to say, I don't understand. Maybe Billy Porter... You and your white husband should have talked to them billionaires that told Christian Keys to take off his clothes. Y'all should have went on to take that phone call and took off them clothes for that hundred thousand. I'm just gonna tell you the right way it is. You should have went on, went on and dush, get in that bathroom and dush, keep it all clean. Okay, and you should have went on there with Robert L. Smith and Tyler Perry and take off your clothes to that hundred thousand and get that money because that man came up there and it's so sad for Billy Porter. He's struggling. He only get his top teeth fixed and that bottom is rotten. Did you see his get into his mouth? Get into his mouth. That man is so broke. He was able to afford the top right, the top right. He got that fixed, but that bottom is rotten. Get into his mouth. I never see the have done veneer job. And the reason why he had to have a have done veneer job because the Mexicans in Colombia said, "Listen, you got to pay us, or you just, you gonna get a half job." And he said, "Man, you know I can do it. Pay no, 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 no. Pay us right now. No, we're not going to do the four veneers. He got one of the part fixed veneer, and the rest of it is rotten. But go ahead." Oh, man, honestly, honestly, like I look at even and I'm trying to let you know, like I try to give you your flowers every time we have a conversation. I don't think that think of too many gay YouTubers that are like out here doing what you're doing. I think of you, I think of Storm Monroe, I think of Armand. It's not that many that come to name. The reason why I'm saying that is because even though you like, oh, we in 2023, we we still doing some first first black woman to do this first black man to do this first gay black man to do that so understand that you know what i'm saying i get you and that's why yeah you're right you're right you so right about that i'm just saying even bobby life is doing his own thing because i ain't gonna lie i feel like his show was kind of better than the bad boys show it was was much it was much better but why is it and maybe i need to do an exit interview with those guys why didn't y'all do the the reunion was it the money because they was fighting too much. Now, you know, I'm cool with, you know, I'm, I'm from Houston, y'all. I'm cool with Hot Wheels. Okay. It was so many people, you know, that's one of my friends, even before he got in the wheelchair, you know, 
Uh, shout out to him, but it, it was so many fights. You know, Ira was gonna fight. Uh, this, uh, you know, was Lou, and you know, uh, Adonis was gonna fight. It was all these different people that was gonna fight. So I think that you're right. They need to do it because it makes no sense that none of the male shows are doing. Really and my thing is this: um, my question is, if they would have paid them what they're paying the ladies, do you think they would have did it? You know what's funny is, remember, even with girl groups, we know that it takes more money to do women than men. So, of course, they're going to have more of a budget. I'm just, but I'm just, I, I understand that. But if they would have paid the same budget they paid for the females to the men, would they would have showed up? I don't think, I think that it wasn't about that. You know what's funny, though? You got the spin-off shows from dudes like the Black, the uh, Playboys and the South Central, all of that. They fighting all day. We don't see them do nothing but fight. But they're on Zeus, they at least be doing other shit. I don't understand what era we in, because even on the internet, if you go live, they not going to tune in and let you talk and shit. So you have to talk shit. You got to fight. I don't know what's going on in the world, but I see I just think, honestly, with fight. those who got on to break it down to you, they got on the show, mm -hmm. Anthony and all of them got on this show, and they're not willing to get dirty. And they weren't hungry enough. Anthony went there. He got whooped. He got embarrassed. Said, I don't want to do this no more. He got whooped bad. Next thing I know, he forgot to douche. They whooped him so bad. He ate a burrito and a taco and messed all over a queen. And they posted it all on the internet. If, why would you sign up for a show and you ain't going to throw? That, to me, is a sign of mental illness. Why are you sign? Just like when they got the girl that said he delivered, I ain't gay no more. Why are you going to sign up? You know it's going to be some fights. Why are you signing up and then, I don't want to fight? Like Milan Christopher, I'm not coming. I'm not going to fight. The girl, why sign up? I would have put that with chairs, ladders, tables. I would have do everything I could do. We're going to have a show. And I'm going to go to my live, do my after show on YouTube, and get a coin. But go ahead. What it is, bro, what it is is like, it's not that many opportunities for us as gay black men to shine. So even me, I don't really want to be on no fighting ass show. I'm a talented ass singer songwriter, but I would have beat up a nigga if I had to to get that. And did the song, I, I, it's like the way how you do it, and that's what gets me with the bad boys because I was, I, it got really boring. Nobody wanted to fight. Nobody, mm -hmm. no drama. Mm -hmm. it, it's like you needed somebody like Wiley to show up different with the eye that's ruthless with the. You need something different because you never seen that before. Oh my God. Oh, oh, his eye. Like, you need all of this attractive. You got a body because some of them girls are just born. You have one with all that spray in his head. Uh, look like he got woman hair, got his shave, half done perm. I don't know these people's name. You got people in a wheelchair. It's just they wasn't hungry enough. They wasn't hungry. Just don't get me wrong. I love me some island boy, but he ain't get paid fairly. He's struggling. I, I just don't, I just don't oh, I get know, it. Uh, he, he, I'm so happy for him, by the way, again, because Jameson, a.k.a. Island Boy, I mean, he, he got natural talent. He needs to be back on TV. He, he's a, he, got, he got star quality. And I told that, I told him, I said, bruh, why you don't have no YouTube channel? Just do a YouTube, open up your shirt, oil it up, and talk, and make money. Why do you have to go and screw and, and try to do only because only fans is a crowded market right and then with only fans with these girls we why i unsubscribe for only fans and i tell them all the time i just go when they have them five dollar special black friday specials and i go watch they kind of unsubscribe because you are subscribed and stop doing content so i wait till it's like a three dollar you know channel for three dollar a month then I, I get all my little blah 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 and i unsubscribe and they don't update they don't update that quick like i'm a type of subscriber baby i do see videos every day and so I subscribe for a month and then it get dry and then I unsubscribe and then I wait till they get a special where it's ten dollars or eight dollars to sign up for 30. I, I'm one of them type of subscribers because they don't subscribe much. <laughs> Even Brandon Carson, he does really, really good. And then he got dry, so I unsubscribe for him, but I still got a, uh, about 29 more days on this one because it was cheap. So yeah, I just because I watched all of them, I'm just Tell waiting on some more action. Give us, give us the I mean, the scoop is I want to see action. I don't want to see you in your drawers. I want to see action. I'm not tuning in to see you in your underwear trying to sell a brand. It makes me sleepy. 
I want to see sweat, action, saliva. I want to see it all. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Even me, myself, I thought about doing OnlyFans, but I didn't want that to be like something that, that changed the dynamic of anything else that I'm supposed to be used for. But, um, but most mainstream you know, people get the OnlyFans and stuff because times is hard. People don't happen when it's, when it's bad, when it's, when it's, when it's changes. You know, everything changes in every 10 to 15 years, things yeah. are seven years. Everything changes. So, when this is no longer a thing and everybody got their shit all over the internet, then it's going to be like, oh, shit, you know what I'm saying? So that's another thing, because things don't stay the same. Nothing under the sun stays the same. Everything's going to change. You know I, what I mean? I agree. I, agree. So, I just think like, I just think that for you, anybody that's in here, you have to take, mm -hmm. and that's one thing, I, I drag T.S. Madison for whatever. She was one of the ones that did it before OnlyFans. She had a website still grossing money. She just knew how to rebrand re herself, reinvent herself, right? So we, as people, we got to be a student of the game. We got to be a student. Okay. We got to learn and study the game because it's out there. And the beauty of the game, you got YouTubers that's giving you game. You got podcast hosts that give. And I, you ain't got to pay a dime. Most of these girls, especially the white ones, give you game for free. You just got to just be a student. My mother, I just take my mother's example. She learned how to pass her real estate again, study the real estate again uh, exam on the thing. It took her three tries, but she studied those YouTubers that they sole purpose was real estate, and she passed it. So, and she learned how to decorate on YouTube. So, YouTube is a very powerful tool if you use it correctly. It if you use it correctly. That's why I was trying to, you know, every time me and you have a conversation, I'm always thankful because I respect what you have. Yeah, I told you, man, we, 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 we put, and, and then you know I'm consistent because when I met you, we was coming, and we still here doing shows. Like, we still here doing shows. It was wrong how they did the people at Zeus, having y'all in that hot sun. It's hot in Texas. Didn't have no water. People was falling out. What did I do? I'm interviewing y'all. I brought y'all to YouTube. Yeah, I really and then other YouTubers came because I understand my power. Then Storm Roll, all these other people, download Storm Roll, download. Uh, he was like, oh, let me interview. So I get it because I, you got to be hungry. I saw y'all. I said, can I interview you? Because I saw y'all on Twitter. I went on y'all Instagram. Can you come on my show? Can you come on my show? You know what's funny? I was going to tell you that. I think you know, a lot of people told me they was like, you should start going on there with him and, you know, doing more like, you know, talking with him. And talking you should him because, because it's entertainment. You're introduced to the world. I love your conversation. I love it. And then Storm will call you and, and make sure Storm paid you because he got the money. You know, he make about ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month. So he he should be doing. I, I can't afford. It. He makes about ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars a month. So is Armand Wigan. They make big money. Look at their veneers. Look at their cheeks. Look at their chest. Look at the escorts that they buy. The male escorts. Yeah, I'm gonna get there. But you, you just make sure he try. He in the closet. He got stacks of cash. He travel and all that. And, you know, give him some little, little good good. Mm -hmm. and, you know, he needs to give you about five to ten stacks. They they got money. You yeah. is stupid as fuck. I cannot. Let, 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 you know what I'm saying? If he if he try to give you some of that storm chaser with that belt, you better make sure he give him a check because he got money. He act like he broke. He got money just because them cheeks is is was wide and got them little baby cheeks. He got money. I'm just saying it right there. But go ahead. What else you want to say? You know what? All I can tell you is you have grown with your talking shit era. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't. I'm going to tell you. And you know I'm a fan. I've been watching you for a very long time. Y'all make sure y'all tune in. It's your boy DQ, 8 pounds finest. DQ, U E M U S I C. I just got to make sure I give Wally his flowers because. Wally, you and your talking shit era phase. You always talk shit, but now you raw. I, I just think I've been, but I just think I've been this way because I just say no, what's over. No, you don't think I've been this way. No, it wasn't. It wasn't so unapologetic. <laughs> oh, okay, that episode because I was trying to be professional and uh, talk to y'all. Yeah, but yeah, uh... <laughs> a few years ago, it wasn't like this. I want you to know, and I want you to know it's more rad to now, even with. When we were talking about Zeus, the, 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 the Playboy show got more looks because when they were hearing their show, it was more fight. It was like, that's what they want. They want. They want. Right. right. So, you know how back in the day we had Real World and they had like the little 
you know, the new build up to the altercation. It ain't like that on them shows. All you see is fighting. That's why I'm like, I know I them so can't go on none of them shows because all they doing is fighting. It's no premise. It's no positivity. It's no purpose. You know, we do have a purpose in life, and I always like how you talk your shit, but you get back to the purpose. It's a purpose, yes, yes. Today, Amen. Yes, get back to the purpose. And you drop gems yourself. You were talking about the wife. I'm like, no, Wiley, I'll listen to you because you drop gems. And I do want to come back on here sometime. And be you always to welcome to come back on the show. And, you know, I come to Houston because yeah. that ain't number like four hours away from Dallas. But the way I yeah, drive it, it takes me about three hours. You, you come down here, I got you, you know, I sing in a live music scene down here. Oh, yeah, I can definitely come to live music. And I want to talk to Anthony as well because I don't mind a little, you know, I want to talk to him too. We can eat burritos and tacos. And, and you know what? The funny thing I was going to tell you about him on the show, he's sweet. He's not a fighter. I think that he, he's not a fighter. He's, he's not. He's not a he, fighter. He, he was scared. But my thing, why would he sign up for that, though? They beat, you know, he he Mexican. So he brews. They got him. Did they mess up his hand? But listen, but listen, why are they having people like Jonathan that they know beat up everybody, fight somebody like Anthony? I mean, come on. This Anthony says that this is television. This is scripted. And it got to be somewhat because you're putting a fighter against somebody who's not really a fighter. Get the, like, give the people what they want. Get somebody who can really fight. That could go toe to toe with Jonathan. Because for me, yeah, like, he, I love Jonathan. By the way, you know it's the Texas thing and this thing. You know, make time all that. I just felt like man, they went against. Like, it's crazy. It was it was just crazy to me, man. And then that it messed up the show because people got scared. I think people got really scared. They, I mean, it just it, it, and, and I ain't gonna lie. It's because the show didn't have anything else going on. You know, the first show had shit going on a little bit. Yeah. The first, the second show was dry as hell. It was dry. You know what I'm saying? That's why the really sitting up here talking about he don't want to do it. And he's still in La La Land acting like he, you know, the, the money was out. The money was out. You in eight town running around this mud. You know what I'm saying? It, it's crazy. And he ain't making money like he, that either. He needs to humble himself. He got me blocked still. He yeah, because he ain't make because he you what know, the money with he ain't making the money like that. You made that car dealership. And, and get out that damn ego. Ego means edging going out. Edging God out, meaning that you're edging God out the room because your head is so big. You got to give people grace, give people space, and stop thinking you're the biggest, baddest bitch out here. You're not. It's other girls coming up. Stop acting like, you know, you did what you did. You was the first. You was a pioneer. We will give you your flowers. But at the same time, why you blocking all your fans? Why do you think you made it like you Beyonce or somebody? You ain't Beyonce. You feel me? Oh, I heard that. And my thing is, like you said, why? Because it's the ego. Engine going out. I love that. I have moment because you have to humble it's your it's ego. And it's when I look out. at when I look at um when I look at Armand Wiggins, right, and Jason Lee, and I want to speak about this. If you do not know, Jason is working very hard behind the scenes trying to uh, blackball or light skin ball uh, Armand Wiggins from <laughs> Zeus. Um, so Armand is crashing now. He's they, they're talking about him subliminally. Jason posted this on Instagram, you guys that y'all are listening. I'm gonna post this. I posted it on my community wall, but I want to read it again. Uh, I was on one of my troll accounts uh, that could have multiple. Uh, because you know I'm black from from Jason. I'm black from Hollywood Unlocked, black from Jason Lee Show, all of that. I'm just black, 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 black. So uh Jason said on my community wall, he said verbatim that um uh, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction plus a social media overreaction. Is there a spiritual warfare uh where uh warfare happening? I honestly hate logging into social media. I pray for everyone's mental health and well-being. If I see one more conspiracy theory meltdown campaign to destroy someone's character, toxic relationship, and and, and such, I'm I'm a scream. So Armand is really putting it out there that our that Jason Lee is using mismanagement of, of pretty much scamming nonprofits to fund his lifestyle, etc. Jason Lee also living with his sister in South Stockton, put our address to run for office. He but he's still doing his business in LA. His sister is still living in South Stockton. It's one of the worst parts in California, very low income, and it's a food desert. And so, but now Jason Lee taking time for his campaign 
and really telling um, um, Lemmy and telling them people over there, Zeus over there, don't hire Armand Wiggins. He bad. If you hire him, we're going to blackball you, right? We're going to expose these freak offs that you got with Natalie Nell. We're going to create rumors, right? So Armand is just really crashing out. He's on his Twitter. He's on his Facebook. Let me go on his Twitter because he posted this on Twitter. Now, I tried to grab this stuff because, you know, they like to post and delete. And, and, and I'm not going to you. I, 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 I love Armand. I love Jason. But he's giving. And I'm going to tell I love all y'all because y'all are black gay men. This is what we have to do as, as, as black gay community we have to stick together we don't know how to do this yeah, i don't think we will ever will but our mind said this yeah he's our mind said this to you he said this to uh to me and to the public he said quote stop telling me to put an address on stuff because when i did y'all call me crazy like you call me psycho and, and crazy girl bye and said i was burning bridges he said this on his tweet oh he, he said this on twitter he said quote Let's be clear. I would never put an address on anyone I'm talking about until I feel like it. Last time this happened, everyone act, acted like I needed to be direct. I did that. Then y'all turn on me, dragged me, made it look like I was some, hold on one second, made it look like I was somehow crashing out, jealous, emotionally unstable. I'm good. Figure it out. But bruh, Armand Wiggins called me from Paris and told me he regret talking about Jason. Again, you is emotionally unstable and you need to come to the Wiley University where I can teach you thick skin because you shouldn't be emotionally unstable. Your eyeballs are straight. Your teeth is whitey. The person that should be emotionally unstable just by looks, if we go by looks, should be me. I got the eye. I walk with the limp. I'm obese. I got man boobs. You know what I'm saying? One foot is twisted in the other, and I'm got all of this self confidence. How the world? Both of your legs work. I know your spinal cord kind of twisted up. You had that spinal cord. You got skelly ropes, or some of this spinal cord was kind of twisted. Other than that, that's an easy job to get that rear line back because you got the money. So again, why are you having this un, un, uh, emotional unstable? What's going on over there? Because a lot of people they can have the veneers. They can have the man because he got a boyfriend called Pops. He don't have no picture. He tell that man what to do. But they unhappy. Yet you stay in that high rise. When you look down in the lobby on the first floor, you see homeless people pissing and shooting up. You still dealing with self-doubt. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and still hear voices in their head and tap dancing and still suffering from depression? It don't mean a damn thing if you depressed, emotionally unstable, and suffering from anxiety. But go ahead, DQ Music. What do you have to say about that? I was going to say is that I, I remember that you just said it. You have to try to play the game. And what I don't think that y'all get, and this is just me on the outside, okay. and I'm just telling you, there's there's Wally, there's Storm Monroe, there's Armand Wiggins, and then there's Jason Lee. Jason Lee been in the game for a long time, so the reason why Armand is trying to not have no 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 beef like that is because Jason Lee has done things like produce shows, gave people opportunities. He's opened up doors, but the thing is, he's been having meltdowns lately. Jason Lee, I know you don't know who DQ is, but you might want to get to know me. The meltdowns been going on because it's something going on. He was handling his business. Because you know what's going on? You know what's going on? People is catching up to the catfishing. Let me tell you why. You telling them that you got all these deals, all these, and the, the numbers is fake, okay? Them ain't number fake numbers. People is waking up to the scam. They waking up to the Ponzi scheme. Again, the reason why he having a meltdown is because he ain't that wealthy like he claimed. Because you can't tell me you wealthy and you still rent out mansions. Where's your land? Where's your ownership? Tyler Perry owned Tyler Perry Studio. You don't own nothing. Your sister's still suffering with rats and roaches in her apartment with her baby. And she don't even know her baby daddy in South Stockton. And you supposed to be so rich and your sister's still living in the hood? You can't tell me that you rich and you still renting high spits of rent of a mansion. That sounds dumb. And then, according to Armand Wiggins, to give you some tea, um, DQ Music, that the landlord banged on the door because Jason Lee allegedly owed him some rent. 
Like, this is the T. And Armand Wiggins, if this is what Armand Wiggins needs to do. If I was a producer, if I was a producer, I need you to get drunk. I need you to do a little booger sugar with Bobby Lights, booger sugar. And I and, and I really need you to be lit, and I need you to drag Jason and talk about it. Because all this subliminal stuff, go live, drink, do some booger sugar so we can all be entertained, so we can all talk about it. And hopefully, you may not make it on Zeus, but you can make it on Horse TV, because you look like a horse, got the horse teeth, and just go and create your own app. But go ahead, DQ. I'm so sorry to say it, but I, if I was Armand Wiggins, I would put like 10,000, build my own app, have the people come do it. You can do it with your boyfriend. Me and Armand Wiggins can have our conversation with cameras and all that half subscribers to come pay for. I can tell you how to make the money. I can oil my body up. I can rip off my shirt and just go to tussling with Armand. That would give a lot of viewership. Oh, my gosh. Do you see Horse TV? Do you see Wild Eye? Oh, my gosh. I'm tuning in. Like, you got to do that. Or you're going to keep on banging on the door of Zeus and getting – a light skin ball by Jason Lee. Which one do you want? Either you're gonna build your own table or you're gonna be begging for a crumb that may not you ain't gonna be able to even eat that crumb because Jason Lee stumped on it and took it away and he put it in his chest or gave it to one of them boys in Colombia that he's screwing. But go ahead. Now all I was just gonna say is it's it's almost similar to the Taraji and Monique because the thing about it is and that's what I was trying to get you to understand there is a, it's a small world after all, right? If it's a small world after all, there's certain key players and certain people that you can't move out of position. I talk about this all the time in Houston, Texas, where there's a great local scene, but there's only those same people because you can't maneuver people out of position. So what I'm saying is, they can leave work with Zeus. You see what I'm saying? If, if he, if, it's just like you being at a job while you working for, as you said, a CNA, and you want to move up in the position. Is he gonna throw shade and 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 just dismantle his relationship with him? That's not what you're supposed to do. Same thing with Taraji. She can't say fuck over before color purple. She came out and she's doing a press run and saying it. So yeah, I agree. I agree. I no, I'm I'm with you. I'm with you on that though. When it comes to y'all. It's not that many of y'all that's doing this shit and got the streets talking like an Armand or a Jason Lee or a, so I think y'all could band together and pop. We can band together, but I'm willing to band together. I will be a bottom all day. Okay. But the thing is, are you willing to humble yourself as the top, Armand Wiggins? Because I'm willing to lay down. I'm already dush. I'm ready to work. But our Armand Wiggins is humble enough. He can't even put my name in the title. He can't even put, I can't put my name in the chat. He have blackballed me over there. Until you, I'm going to say this in honor of the color purple, because I got to go to that Oprah zone. Until you do right by me, big guns, everything you think about is going to crumble. Until you do right by Wiley, that Zeus going to crumble. When you do right by the handicapped and the psycho and the mentally ill person, Wiley, your career going to flourish because people are like, who is this wallet that you help? Until you do right by me, you're going to continue to crumble. Because why you? Because let me tell you this, DQ Music, because Armand Wiggins came over here talking so negatively against me, came over here talking all that woo rhyme. Why you ain't telling that to Jason Lee? He the one that's blackballing you. Only thing I'm doing, I got my ankle bracelet and on my leg brace. I got my shoes that I got from Walmart that's turning to the side, and I'm up here living my best life in a purple room. You're getting blackballed. You need to have that energy towards Jason Lee, and I know he watching right now in the bushes with his boyfriend in that high rent apartment with them homeless people all on that block in West Hollywood. When are you going to have the courage to put an address on Jason Lee because you came over here on this show talking all that Ruron and you're getting light skin ball by Jason Lee. Hollywood Unlocked muscle, the mafia of Hollywood Unlocked, they're literally applying that pressure on our mind we can show. If he would humble and throw me a little cash because he got money over there. He made a lot of money on YouTube. You can Google his income. He give me about five thousand dollars. I will be your guard dog temporarily for thirty days to be your guard dog, and I can guarantee you, you are gonna be on Zeus own network and BET. All you gotta do is get five thousand, and I'll help you get on them networks because we gonna wake up the streets. It's gonna be so iconic. They are gonna be begging. Oh, we want Wiley in our mind. We we want we 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 they gonna be over here stumbling. But you you but you you ain't you don't want to work with Wiley because I ain't got the look. My teeth is yellow. All right, I ain't got it because my foot is twisted. 
But why are you up there throwing down on Wiley? I'm going to be the one that's owning these networks, taking a picture. What's the man name, Mr. Lemmy? I'm going to be over there owning, investing, doing shows. They're going to be like, following Wiley, man. We're going to be waking it up. See, I know I don't I never auditioned for Zeus. That showed you, you know, Zeus came to Texas. I could have went on and got in my yellow bus, the short yellow bus. I could have went on out there with my friends and went out there to Houston and sat in that heat. And I could have sold a case of water and passed out some water bottles, but I didn't want to do that. I'm not that I didn't want to do it. I could have got in the car and rent me a car, been on the Greyhound. I could have sat with DQ Music. We could have went to the hotel room and uh, smoked a little sun sun and went on to the went on to the audition. But I would have had some sense to bring me some water because ain't no way in the world I'm going nowhere without no water. Okay. Anyway, but but I'm just not that. I that wasn't for me. I didn't. But I thank God for DQ Music and others because I had a YouTube channel. But my friends, they went in the heat, musty, stinking really bad. Because one of them came up, we shot really good, got it in. And he was so hot. And anyway, and, and after we got through screwing, he was talking about how he didn't get no camera time. I said, don't worry about it, baby. You stick with Wiley. You're going to get all the camera time. I got camera. Do you want to come on and tell your story? I don't want people to know that we together. I'm like, it's okay. It's fine. Because I got the cock out. Once I get my eyes straight and get some veneers and fix my leg, then you're going to be proud of it. But then it's going to be too late because I'm going to date me a white man like Billy Porter or a white woman to Karen. I'm going to leave you black folks in right where y'all at because y'all don't want to deal with me. No fat, no film, no cock eye, no this or that. I'm going to leave it on once I make it. Keep that same energy. I'm going to be a good old, good old white man with a body and a tattoo. But go ahead. I'm so sorry, DQ Music. Because I'm just, I'm, but DQ Music, what, what gets me like this is because the door was shut on Wally Face. All, everywhere it went, I was not appreciated. It's hard. I have to work twice as hard because I don't look straight. Do you have the comments? I don't look straight. And I still fight through it. But these other guys with straight eyes, six pack. I just, I don't get it. That's why they have to really. Honestly, you have a lane. You have a lane clearly because you've been talked about with these people that we've been. Right. <laughs> no, I just have to let you know that. Because I wanted to screw the neighborhood talk, Kyle, but I'm not famous. Once I get famous, me and him, he's going to be my paid relationship. Okay, baby. Once I get family, tell you this right now, DQ Music. And thank you. It is a lane. Once I give me some money, Oh, okay, Kai, I want to sleep with you. How much is going to cost? All right, we got the NDAs. Okay, what you want to be greater than the shade room? Okay, we're going to invest three, $3.5 million. Let's get busy because I want Kyle that much. When I finally make it, Kyle is going to be one of them, my top leading relationships. Yeah, yeah, that's what's going to happen. I ain't got the money. That's why he paid me no mind. Once the show pop, then he's going to be on his knees enjoying my beautiful equipment. That's one thing God have blessed me with between my legs. I think I shut up. I got up and say that. I thank God for that. And Kyle is going to be the first stop I make. And then I'm going to move on to Lori Harvey and, 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 and all of other people. But Kyle is on. I'm just being honest. Cause ain't no use to me lying. Once I make it, the Kyle's, the Armand, all it, it's definitely going to be Kyle. I don't want to do an Armand, but Kyle, I want him very badly, real bad. Okay. I'm going to be a city boy. Anyway, I'm going to just tell you that right there. The way how he was licking on that, I really want him now. And again, they said speaking in existence, post pictures and put candles and, and say his name three million times. We already been doing that. I'm just waiting on the poster to come. I'm putting in this purple one number of Kyle pictures of the neighborhood talk all of it going to my room. And then I'm going to get a blanket uh, with a blanket of Kyle. Then on this TV that y'all see right here, I'm going to put a video of Kyle on the reel and it's going to play over and over. I'm speaking. I will sleep with Kyle. I will sleep with Kyle. I will be wealthy. I will be wealthy. Rich, 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 wealthy. wealthy, wealthy. I'm going to keep saying And the next thing you know, we're going to be screwing up. We're going to be in a whole relationship. Mr. and Mr. Wiley. Okay? And this is my husband. He owns the neighborhood talk. I'm speaking in existence. Y'all go ahead and send it to him. This is my husband, right? He owns the neighborhood talk. You know, he got fired from the shade room. We purchased the shade room. We purchased that little, that little bra. We purchased it. Okay? Um, yeah. We just gonna play. I'm just going to tell you what it is. The reason why I work hard, because I know that what, they, what people will do for money and power and wealth. I'm just being real. This is Mr. and Mr. Wiley. And then if I want to get real freaky, it's going to be a Mrs. Wiley too. What do they call it? A panagamous relationship? Whatever type of relationship, it's going to be a woman. Sometimes I'm going to have be so wealthy. Mrs. Wiley going to have her wing and Mr. White going to have his wings and my concubines, they're going to have their wing on the field. But it's it's going to be a field, but it's still going to be upgraded with servants and stuff like that. I'm going to be getting it in. And then I'm going to have my concubines all over the world, all over the country. Anyway.
I'm going to just say it what it is. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm going to screw. I'm going to have some power. Yes, we're going to have some legal consent freak offs. It's going to be consent adults in the freak off. It's going to be consensual. It's going to be consensual because all these people talk about Diddy. Half of them still deal with Diddy and they still act them freak offs. Anyway. You ain't see Saucy Santana calling out Diddy and dragging Diddy. You don't see Carisha Please calling out that Diddy. Yeah, Diddy technically somewhat being canceled, but he's still having freak offs. He's still getting in with Saucy Santana and Popeye Chicken and Carisha Please in that wig. So again, I'm saying I'm going to use my wealth and get it in. I'm going to tell you that right in there. We will be getting Neek at night. She's a beautiful YouTuber. We will be getting Lovely T. I always want to do Lovely T. I always want to do Lovely T. We will screw Tasha K. I have a fantasy about Tasha K. We will buy her. We're going to... We're going to pay off her debt. We're going to screw her. And, our, our, and, and, and then we're going to eat Jell-O rice and, 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 and all that type of stuff. So again, I already have my list of the people that I'm going to screw and pay to screw. I will be the one to buy it. Because you can be bought. Everybody got a price. Nick Cannon's new show, Wow. And what is it? Oh, yeah, Wow. Oh, yeah. I think Nick Cannon got a new show. Yeah, we're going to Nick Cannon's new show. You can be versus. You know how to act. Because you, you saying, because I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to be honest. Now, Zamar, if he didn't have his deformity look, do you think he'll be famous like this? No. I think that makes, I think, I think Zamar, it makes, I get that, yeah. You're talking about this lazy eye. I actually have one, too. That's what makes you your thing. Yes! Yes! Like this. Please, because it's not healthy to your brand. People like that about you. That's why people tune in. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Like that's what I make fun of it because I'm a comedian, make people laugh. But I would never try to get my eyes straight and all that. I like it because it's me. That's why that's why I wake up and try to build on my own table, man. And I'm so glad. Number one, I'll be in Houston. I want to see Anthony. Uh, because Anthony don't own that club. And I need him to stop lying and say he own that club because he don't own that club. Like these girls, he keep and this is Anthony, nothing to get you, but stop telling them girls you own that club. Who own that club is an old crusty white man. Okay, you don't own it. You was a glorified promoter. You don't own that club. If you own that club and grossing all that money, he know he don't own that club. Girl, stop it. I like that you say that, but you don't own it. So this is what I'm going to tell you. I don't care about it like that because the nigga been there so long, he might as well own that motherfucker. He's been there for a long time. Just because, but that's what I'm saying. He ain't nothing but a glorified sharecropper. He ain't nothing but a glorified sharecropper. You know, back in the day, if you don't know what a show company is, you know, back in the day, grandpa and grand grandma, you know, they got they 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 lease out the land for master, and they, you know, they couldn't they couldn't enslave them no more. So they said, well, uh, we we we'll let you we we'll let you plot the field, and if you do real good, we we would return it. But mm, since you had to get help, get getting my plow, get getting my mule, getting all this, okay, you in debt. So Mister Paw Paw never Grandpa Wiley never was able to get that land. These folks ain't nothing but glorified sharecroppers. Armand Wiggles was a sharecropper for Cardi B, and guess what Cardi B did? She sat with Jason Lee. These are glorified sharecroppers. They went to the party, drunk all that liquor, and they ain't went on none of that show. See, again, I, because I, I know they trash. They will. But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is for me, when I say that they're sharecroppers like Anthony, is because when you sit and say you own something, when you don't, you are a sharecropper. And and you ain't gonna be on Zeus when you owning all these successful clubs. That's stupid. Uh, and making pennies on a dollar. Um, you're a glorified promoter. Now, when let's get back to Armand Wiggins, and like you said, we all need to stick together, whatever. The reason why we cannot stick together, that's a good black folks have never ever stood together as a unit, right? It have been so many slave slave rebellion throughout history, and have always been one of them house 
slaves that have told on the people that wanted to walk away. And that's so black folks have never as a community all stood together. You always had somebody that said, I want to go this way. You have WB Du Bois, you had all of you have Booker T. Watch. Everybody had their own idea of what black people should be doing, right? Everybody didn't have the, the unity. Even when Dr. King and and now you got Russell and uh, you got all these people that was doing the, the March on Washington. Everybody and technically, if it wasn't for that gay man that you see on Netflix, we would have never had it because he stood up for it because the NAACP, they didn't want the March on Washington because they thought it was stupid to do that. And the original idea, not to talk about history, that they wanted to approach against the White House, they wanted to do this, they wanted to go here, they wanted to do this, and they trimmed it down to one day. It was supposed to be a three-day event. They trimmed it down to one day. So again, this generation, we will never have this massive kumbaya moment that sound good on paper, but it don't exist. It will never exist when we all come together. That, that ain't practical. It will never happen. And it is power and number. You ain't gonna ever see all these people. You name. You ain't gonna see Armand Wiggins and Wiley and uh, Jay because Armand Wiggins ego. I'm willing to work with anybody, but is they willing to work with Wiley? Why is it that these people don't can't even put my name in a the title? They shaking by my gift. They all watch and download Storm or Roll, Down or Ross Wig, Armand Wiggins. All these people watch, but they can't even put my name in the title. And you know what I did to them? I blocked them all and their name, so you can't even type that name. You got to do nickname. They used to come in the chat, drag me, and I couldn't go to their chat. If you kicking me in my house and I can't kick you in your house, you ain't welcome in my house. If you want to come on, you got to call in like DQ Music on Instagram. That's about it. Even Tasha K is blocked because you know why? Because she got me blocked on her app and she got me blocked on Instagram and she got me blocked on her Facebook page and she got me blocked on her YouTube. So we just returning the energy. We redistributing the pain like my ancestors tried to do with the Poor People's March. We just redistributing the pain. You got me blocked. I'm going to have you blocked. Is that that simple? I feel you, but you know, man, you don't talk much you know, homie friend. But if you want me to give some good advice, I got some. Yeah, I love it. I love your advice. I love your advice. And it's great. Just like you should be on Zeus and everything. Do you think Armand Wiggins and Jason Lee and Wiley should all be in a house on Zeus and you should be there too? Do you think they should do that? Put me in Zeus with, with Armand Wiggins and Jason Lee and, his, and, her, and, and, you know, do you think that should happen? With, and do you think that T.S. managed to bring her mama to come in Zeus? She can cook us some food and cater the food. You think she could be in that with her wheelchair? Do you think that should be good? No, I'm just saying, do you think that she should hook up her wheelchair and they they they, they get people in the wheelchair so she go on and cook us some food? She could be fake prayer because that prayer ain't going to go up to the ceiling. And so you think we should all be there together and have fun, you know? Mm -hmm. You think that would be a show? Do you think that T Tasha K should be in there with her purple hair, her daughter that look like Celie? Do you think we all should be up in there just tussling? Do you think that would be, a, a, you know, going back and forth? Do you think that would be a good show? It'll be. Y'all need to, y'all need to be commentating on something that's very, very real. You know, some real subject matter and not just some bullshit. You know, y'all are all great at talking about the you, our mind, Jason. I think that that to be a thing where y'all all talking about something very real that really, really matters. Not no bullshit. No, we on this show, we talk about things that are real. But the thing is, and even with Zeus, right? When Zeus was having a real show. Oh man, those positive show B2K for the love of chance. No, really, no, really, no tussle. Guess what was going on with Zeus? Can you guess what was going on with Zeus during that era? Nobody was subscribing. Nobody was watching. Not even they didn't even watch the BTK B2K show. So again, people want drama. If I get on here, if you two will allow you to fight. And cuss like they do on bingo, I will have 300,000 subscribers. I would just take this camera and have an argument with my sister and trigger her or trigger my mother when she get drunk. Do you know how many views I would get? So people, y'all say y'all want that positive. You don't because y'all want wildness. Y'all want drama because without Zeus with that drama, let them start preaching like Bishop T.D. Jakes. Y'all will unsubscribe. Even Oprah Winfrey, oh, everybody loved Oprah, but y'all didn't love her when she started the own network. She had Rosie O'Donnell, 
white shows, Dr. Phil. Guess what y'all did over there to Oprah? Didn't watch it. What did she have to do? She had to go and get Tyler Perry. He took a break for telling Christian Key to take his clothes off and went on, write a couple of scripts, and y'all all went over there to Oprah. Y'all rushed over there with Oprah. He went on, told Christian Keys, put back on your clothes. Uh, he got through rubbing on that cross and started writing them scripts. And y'all ran over to the Oprah Winfrey Network. But y'all ran all over there. But y'all wasn't over there. I was over there when it was dry and boring and Super Soul Sunday because I'm a fan of Oprah. So, but direct, uh, the average black, y'all went over there and Tig got wild with drama and love marriage, Huntsville. That's when y'all went over to Oprah. And Oprah got pissed. She said, you know what? Well, screw y'all. Thank you, Discovery, for investing. I'm going to sell y'all all my right, like the, the, the percentage back. And then y'all can just license my name, the Oprah Winfrey Network. I come and do some shows. I'll be the CEO. But I don't want to have, I, I want y'all to like really own it. I just be the CEO because I can just give up any time. Because she was pissed. They dragged Oprah. The headline with Oprah on the New York Post or the Washington the Washington Post, the New York Times or the Washington Post, they said, quote, Oprah is not standing on her own. They drag Oprah Winfrey for filth because they said she failed in that network because then she had to call Tyler Perry. He said, Oprah, Oprah, how you doing, Oprah? Hello. He said, you got to have some drama with black folks. And they got the drama. And now Oprah Winfrey Network is competing and doing better numbers than BET and VH1. So again, Y'all want to kumbaya, but y'all don't watch kumbaya videos. Y'all watch drama. When Armand came over here cussing and, and spewing and snot coming out of his bread basket, y'all watch it and consumed it and called in. We did three, five weeks on weeks on coverage of the migrant crisis. Didn't care. Y'all yarn and went to sleep. So I know what y'all want. Y'all don't want no unity. Y'all want Wiley to be wild, say what he going to say, and drag folks. And that's what make y'all watch on this show. That's what, what keeps y'all entertained. Let me ask you something. Is that why you start talking about I have always like, talked. I, well, I will continue to talk. No, because, what, what that, well, yes. Well, yes. Well, yes. Absolutely. Yes. Well, I, I, shit talking will always bring views. Like, if you get a shit talker. It's always, but that's what you have to do. You have to be me. Like, like I can be professional. Yes, I can be professional. I know how to cold switch all day. But if I know my people want to see me wild in action. I'm going to be wild in action. Even when I go and I test myself, even when I do my show and I get out here and I do my show and I go live at the gas station, I'm just doing my radio show and I have my phone. People be laughing. <laughs> they be laughing because I'm entertaining. That's what the people want. They don't want to sit down and see you like Fox, MSF. Even, even mainstream media is getting entertaining now because of Donald Trump. They don't want to. That's why Donald Trump gets some more publicity because he make politics funny. He ain't dry. He ain't sleepy Joe Biden. He ain't, he ain't uh, uh, Governor St. Demonius. He ain't Governor Christie. Even though I like Governor Christie, he needs to lose weight and get on, that, uh, on them injections. But he's funny, and that's why Governor Christie is still running because he's so funny when he's dragging Donald Trump. People like to be entertained. They're even learning and in politics. The reason why Joe Biden is getting attacked because he's sleepy. He talks slow. But when I see Donald Trump talk, I know he ain't going to be reading on no teleprompter. He's going to be saying off the cuff, and that's what keeps my interest. When I see Joe Biden go to, if I ever want to go to sleep or if I'm constipated, I will watch a Don, I will I, I will have if I'm constipated, I'll watch Donald Trump because the, the thing will come out of out of my bread basket. But if I ever want to go to sleep, it's gonna be Joe Biden. I will watch I'm gonna tell you something that I, I'm trying to get you to understand that I can say on here without it being like a behind the scenes thing when yeah. it comes to you and our mother. That's true. Like that. Go ahead. So, we just, it just needs to be an understanding. Like, I don't know what the conversation needs to be behind the scenes, but it's just like more like y'all gotta be on the same page. Because even when you think about Candy and Nene, they might have not love each other, but those two bitches was on the same page to where this house. This house of Atlanta franchise is still going because they all came together 
to do a common goal. And Nene and didn't get paid fairly too something. on that show either. <laughs> Since we talk about, she called them out. And then the white folks, then the white people on the network, they called them out. Yeah, and they had to apologize to Nene because you remember Nene was calling them out, say y'all racist and y'all don't pay. But I'm trying to tell that's why I've been trying to tell you I don't I want you to understand the principle. Go ahead, yes. Let's uh, yeah. I understand. You kinda you kinda glossed over it a little bit. I don't know, I'm not gonna so I'm just sorry, I'm just bringing up another point, but no, you're right about that. Like we have to have an understanding. I think we no, I agree with you. Like us working together, it would be powerful if our me and our mild wiggers would work together. We get in our box of briefs and eat cereal and go live together. It would bring quick to views. I want to talk shit because all y'all talk shit would be entertaining. But what I am saying is that the present space that we're in, we're not that many shows. There's still first of this and first of that for black people. Right. So let's not, I want you to make sure we're clear that, that you know, maybe God sent me to call you just to tell you that, that when I think of social media influencers that's on YouTube, y'all are the only ones that come to my, my mind, you know what I'm saying? Maybe Oliver or somebody else, but it's not that many. So you got to understand the power that you hold now, even though you're saying it. Because you are in conversation with these people. Absolutely. Yeah. And I love Oliver, but he didn't get paid fairly. He was over there with T.S. Madison, and they didn't pay him fairly. And when he was behind on his rent, um, T.S. Madison, I'm not going to fight for this money. That, that that voice came out. You know, that voice that we got. Uh, I ain't giving you nothing. And he had to call his biological mother that pushed him out of the Yoni Canal. And she had to pay his rent. So all you queens that go over to T.S. my this is my mama, this is my mama. When you didn't have no money and was about to get evicted from that apartment with that green grass on your wall, you had to call your real mama that's on that birth certificate. So again, I know you queens love to say, T.S. my that's mother, that's mother. Well, what does that mean when you can't pay your rent? And mother said, I ain't giving you a dollar. Because T.S. Madison like people to work for her for free. That's why bros flopped because it was boring. And she bring them gay men in there that don't have an education that's desperate for a coin. She used them up and don't pay them what they're worth. And they leave there because they didn't get paid fairly. But go ahead. I'm so sorry for saying that about T.S. Madison. But it triggered me when you brought up Oliver name. But that you know, you know. yeah, that 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 that, that kind of triggered me when you brought up Oliver Renee. Yeah, he worked for free. He he sit there and worked for free for Doctor Heavily and Candy and them. He worked for free and still living in that same one bedroom apartment, low income apartment with green grass. Like, where's the upgrade? Because you keep working for free. Yeah, he got talent, he got skills, but he allowed those celebrity to suck the blood from his brand. He's work. He could be doing that for other clients, and they're not paying him fairly. And then he struggled because he posts. He did something chasing Atlanta, and he owed taxes. You can't even get your taxes paid up. He had to struggle to get on the payment plan for that because you're around these celebrities, and they're not giving you a dime. Because Atlanta queens, they just brag. I am a celebrity graphic designer. That don't mean nothing if they ain't paying you nothing. I will work for Pookie and Ray Ray in the crack house if she got enough money to pay me so I can pay my bills. Stop trying to brag with these celebrities because these celebrities will use you up with their brand and name. Well, I'm such and such. I'm such and such. And that's why a lot of these girls out here are suffering because you're allowing these celebrities to suck the talent and the energy out of you and you're not getting a dime for it. If you're going to lick and lap on me, at least let me get a coin for it. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand is most of these things. Anybody that started YouTube and started, does that mean it's going to be successful? That's true. That's so, true. I I'm get you on that. I'm just talking about, we're talking about the real world. We're not talking about YouTube. That's true. We're talking about the real world. There's only certain opportunities that come our way. You can try to act like there's so many of them motherfuckers, but it ain't. That's why my ass was in hot ass Houston in that motherfucking line trying to get on bad boys. Because there's not that many opportunities for black gay males. That's, That's true. Why we talk about Oliver and T.S. Madison and Jason. Because there's not. And that's why our mind is on, on Twitter going off. Because how many business networks is there? 
It's not that many of the motherfuckers. Well, Armand got the money to start his. He can start one because he already got subscribers. So why not? It, it's not, but it, but again, you can't. Nothing is easy. But again, with Armand, you start out small. You already got cameras. Only thing you need for a reality show, really, just start with the basics because you see these web series are doing it. Rent out of Airbnb. Oh, everybody been reality the same thing. People been telling me the same thing. I, but I, I'm just saying, Armand can do it because he got the income to do it. He just, he keep begging. He got to stop all that begging and go on your bank accounts, lay down, stop paying all them Gucci and Prada and veneers and get some camera people and some editors and do your own show. You can do it. He got the money. And get you a cast like Wiley. You can go and get a cast like Wiley. You can bring DQ music. You can bring download Storm on Roll. Bring that chick from the projects down to Ross Wig. Bring her too because we can screw and we can have a whole love affair there. You know, you, I mean, it's so much that you can do. I just think he should do it. I'm just saying the fans, we got almost 200 people. They say he should do it, child. I'm just saying, because I, I know this. He just needs to stop begging over there. They shut the door to his face. Man, please, I will get my own cameras with all that begging he doing. Just get down on Ross wig. You know, she in the projects, you know, rat, rat infested. She need a break. She need to go to Florida to Airbnb or L.A. to Airbnb, right? So me and her can be in the bed together. If you get down low storm on road, you bring him and or he does anything for Armand Wiggins. He's so desperate for Armand Wiggins' attention. You want some of that Armand Wiggins up his bread basket. So... He can definitely bring all these people there. And we and people will tune in. You can do it live. You could do your first ever live reality show. And people will tune in, super chat, cash app. They will do everything. And we all share a piece of the profit. I'm just telling you how it is, DQ music. Like we could do it back in the day when TS Madison Kaya, they just had their iPad and regular little phone, and they made they shook up the world. They shook up the world. So don't tell me what you can't do without no cell phone, baby. You can do something with a cell phone, child. If you know how to work that phone, it can make you billions. But you got to know how to work it. Armand Wiggins already got the infrastructure to tweak it a little bit and hire Wiley. I'm just telling you right then and there. We will do it right then and there. I mean, dude, I know he watching right now. He should. But you should have no people to do it. Them the people that you should deal with. But if do you want somebody with this mouth or do you want somebody that's dry, that's sad and boring? What do you want? You need people with this mouth to bring in the numbers. You don't want nobody dry and boring. I, we're in the bedroom, right? Are you a top or a bottom or verse? Are you top? Right, DQ Music. Are you a top or a bottom? Okay, you versatile. Don't you want somebody that does fellatio on you, that lip it like you, that have a good mouth, or do you want them to have a cotton dry mouth? You know what? I don't want. I want them to have a wet mouth. Don't you want them to have a good mouth to make sure they do it right? Don't you want to make sure they got it done right? Do you or do you want them to have a dry mouth? Don't you want them to know how to work every angle, every inch, every tip of it? Don't you want them to just take it all in and just give it to you good? I'm just telling you, but don't you want all of that and know how to do it? You want somebody wild in that bedroom. So them, you want somebody wild on a reality show. That's my point. I'm wildly. I can't beat nobody else like no. The reason why a lot of these shows are suffering in these reality shows because everybody kissing each other, but don't nobody want to shake it up. Everybody is bougie and sadidi, and that's why a lot of these shows are being canceled. That's why the Real Housewives, they want a new cast because they need people that are hungry, that's willing to apply that pressure. Again, Armand, we can supply that pressure. He's reading them tarot cards. Put down the tarot cards and bring Wiley on the show and, and book my ticket. Let's have a conversation and we can have a whole thing. You get Miss Mary to charge the chair and she could be the host. And that could be our rolling race. She could be rolling Mary. Come on, bring rolling Mary. Bring rolling Miss Mary to the set. I want to see rolling Miss Mary. I, because we see her mama with a wheelchair. When my mama, when we post a picture of my mama and her wig, they drag my mama so her mama can get it. She bring her mama up on that wheelchair. So bring her to the set. Bring Roland Miss Mary to the set. 
some things is jarring and some things is bring like bring roll and miss mary we want to see roll and miss mary i want her to make me some fried chicken i want her, i want her to make me a good old pot roast and i'm gonna throw it to the ground <laughs> I want I want to go toe to toe with T S Mattis because she been going toe to toe with real biological women. I want to be able. I want Miss Mary to cook me a meal and I throw that meal and spit it out. And I want T S Mattis. Don't you spit that at my mama? I want I want I want to go toe to toe with T S Mattis and that will shock waves. Maybe we'll be making clicks and views off that. But go ahead. I'm so sorry. We need to bring Roll Miss Mary. Can, do you have her number? DQ Music. Wiley, I hope I don't got no new app after this interview, but if I do, it's not, it ain't my fault. <laughs> do, do, I'm just saying, do you have Roland Miss Mary um, phone number? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, okay. I don't the person that I got that's close to Roland Miss Mary is Roland High Wheels. I got his phone Okay, you got Roland High Wheels. Okay. I, I just want to know. My boy High Wheels. I feel like, you know what I'm saying, he was even rolling away. I always tell him that he just is. Yeah, that's just true. As, you know, entertaining. But DQ means, are you single in a relationship? I am single, you guys. Y'all need to make sure you follow me. Maybe my man will find me from the wallet show. D-Q-U-E-M-U-S-I-C. I'm a singer and songwriter from Houston, Texas. I curate events. I'm really trying to establish my... Okay, we can go to the studio because you know I'm a singer. You know I like to sing gospel music. Anytime you in Houston or any of y'all in Houston, please look me I'm a, up. I'm a tech, yeah, text me. We, we'll make that happen. Right? We'll kind of connect and talk about music and, uh, yeah, we'll do a, a late night studio session. Mm -hmm. Don't be trying to late night. Uh, uh, okay. No, late night studio session so we can burn the midnight oil. Well, we can burn the midnight oil. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I really want to thank you. Thank you. I was trying to make sure I give you your flowers because thank I feel you. like sometimes. You know, we don't get enough flowers to the people who are in the spaces. And right now, the people who have names, y'all are doing a good job. Yeah. Just make sure y'all understand yeah. that it's only so many of us. Yeah. I'm looking forward to your flowers in person. Oh, well, if you really want to follow me, yeah. follow me at D-Q-U-E. Make sure y'all follow me and I'll follow all y'all back. Wally, thank you for having me. You got me asked to do this again. Yes, we got to do this on camera. Yes. Put me on bad boys or put me on some show on some type of network. I feel like I think that I'll be good for television. You will. And even talking with y'all, like having a conversation, pushing the post. Right. Us guys, we got to do a better job together. So many fights, like right. What's up? Yes. What is up, y'all? I'm not saying we gonna always be kumbaya, but what is up? Like, what is what up? What the fuck is the problem? For real, we have to wake it up. Yeah? We have to wake it up. What's going on? Why? Yeah, I mean, you know, y'all look out for my single. I'm, I'm, I actually have a song called "Wake It Up." And it's coming out. It's, it's coming out in 2024. I can't wait for y'all to hear. I'm really trying to get into the gay scene with some, you know, box. Yes. I can't wait because it will be amazing. Thank you so very much, DQ Music, for coming on. You guys, make sure you uh, follow him. I'm going to pin um, his um, username um, in the uh, chat here. Uh, that's DQQUE Music. All right? So I put that in the comments. Shout out to the Wally Show. Shout out to the fans. Shout out to the supporters. Yes. Um, you know, I, I, God bless y'all. Merry Christmas. I hope that y'all have a happy new year. You know what I'm saying? And just keep on dreaming, keep on pushing, keep All on right. trying to be the best first yourself. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, Wally, bring it back. All right, I will. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Right, Bye. Okay, so, yeah, so we talked about all that good action, you guys. I think we got one or two. Give me a second, because we, we we talked about it, yeah. Okay, okay, Chris okay. Okay. And so the thing, like I said about Christian Keys, he came out, he talked about how he was fundled, I mean, a touch and violated by his family with brooms and stuff and dustpans. And he had to walk or run around with no clothes on. But he still didn't put an address on who is the billionaire. Put an address on it. Now, when it comes to fucking Dineva, he literally did all his line talking that he got all his tea and he didn't put an address on it. I guess he's still suffering because that's the guy that put poop 
on uh, Michelle Atelier and Walls and did Bo Booger Sugar, and she called him Junkie Faniva. And literally, he did not put an address on it as well. Then we got Jonathan Majors that decided he wanted to go date a whole white woman, and she went on and played victim. And now he have been convicted of two other counts, one or two other counts. Now he's suffering. Then he gonna go on and pick up a black woman, and now he wanna be black. He ain't nothing but the 21st century OJ Simpson. You remember OJ? He was white, 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 white. But then when he went, really got through, and they turned against him, and he was. <laughs> OK, he went on and hired the dream team. He went on, start going to black churches. He went on speaking in tongue and all that stuff. Along when the lights camera and they received your over you, you date one of their own. You was dating them. You had them arm in arm. Right. And now cornbread and white and Wanda bread meet together. Right. But now you got to go to the black woman, collard greens and turkey wings. Now you got to go to the, the, the black community. Now we got to come and rally behind you. But when you had all them lights and camera and action, you abandoned them and you went on over there to that white woman. And what did she do? Play victim, right? So again, now you have lost deals with Disney and so many other deals that you have lost because you didn't, you dated the wrong person. This is why it's best to stay single, period, point, blank. Stay single. Stop dating these deranged people and men. Keep your hands to yourself. Just why to stay single. Jonathan Major is one of those type of cases. All right. Now, we're going to open up the phone lines for any of the people in the chat that want to call in. The number is 972 uh, moderators 674 9462 for anybody that do want to call in. That is the number, 972-674-9462. Again, 972-674-9462. Uh, 972-674-9462. I told y'all we was going to go live. If you want to donate, hit the cash app, dollar sign, Marquise Wiley 28, Zale Wiley Show at gmail.com. That is W-I-L-E-Y-S-H-O-W at gmail.com. Cash out, dollar sign, Marquise, M-A-R-Q-U-I-S-E-W-I-L-E-Y-2-8. And we want to say thank you, 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 all right? All right, so 2024 is our year going to high, blah, 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 higher levels, higher levels. We're going to higher levels. If we have already seen off the cup, wow, entertainment, loud entertainment, it will be the Wiley Show attitude era. It will be more attitude in that era in 2024. All right, so we're looking forward to it. I just want to thank you all. I think want to thank again DQ Music. That is DQ Music for coming on. Thank you, Demarcus, uh, 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 for coming on the show. Uh, I met him through the zoo situation. He tried to become a star. They said no, but I'm so glad that he came on the show. Also, Armand Wiggins is in here struggling. He is on the show as well, listening and having a good old conversation. He is struggling as well. So we want to make sure we pray for him. He's nothing but a whole struggle. My prayer is that he gets strength, that he get rid of that anxiety, that the door, that he build his own platform, that he come and work with the Wiley Show, and that we wake up these streets together, that we both humble ourselves and lay down our egos, that I get on a flight that he paid for, he paid for my hotel room, that we meet each other, and I meet his boyfriend, Pops, and we have a conversation, and we sit down da, 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 at the table, and we break bread together, that we have this good old entertainment in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. That it happened, okay? Anybody else is dealing with a Gemini uh, anxiety or doubt or depression? Did it go? Just touch the screen. I am not depressed. I do not have anxiety. Just touch the screen. If you have to kiss the screen, hug the screen, and it's already gone in Jesus' name. It's Shabbat, bye, bye, bye. 
So I just want to just say that right then and there. I was holding in speaking in tongue, but it just come on all out. And I love God because God loved me. All right. He made me for who I am. Now, let me tell you people in my clothes. So I was at the gym and I was minding my own business at the gym, having an amazing time at the gym. And it was a brother at the gym and he was signing people up to, uh, because he said, I'm trying to get a job here to be a trainer. Number one, he is attractive. Did I say that? Of course, he is attractive and everything. And so we're literally um, seeing him and he's signing people up or whatever. So of course I get done with my workout. I get seeing the eye candy and people sweating. Um, I go to the, the register to pay for my prime liquid drink that was disgusting. And I said, well, did you all hire um, Tyree? Did you all hire the man? They said, no. I said, well, why are you hiring? Because he didn't sign up enough people. We want people that know how to go and travel and sign people up. He, did, you, he didn't sign up enough people. And I looked at that. I said, when the opportunity presents itself, you got to know how to work the room. See, he should have went in there and said, hey, man, blah, blah, blah. You got to know how to work the room. You got to know how to where he gave up too easily. That's what that man said. He said he gave up too easily. Make sure you sign everybody up on that piece of paper. Sign every, Number one, he's an attractive guy. Shout out to him. His name is Tyree, uh, uh, Tyree T-Y-R-E-E -E underscore Sims, S-I-M-S, one, one. Very attractive man. Uh, uh, he got a swag on him, but you got to work the room. You too attractive. Go to the female, go to the man. And when you already, you already signed me, you got to work the room. But I told him he could personally train me and we would make all, we would pay him the $200 a month for two sessions a week. Okay. And if he's real good, get this body together, I'll make it $500 a month for two sessions, uh, a 30 uh, hour session, uh, Monday or Tuesday or Monday or whatever. Uh, but nevertheless, you got to know how to work the room if you want to be something. And I, and I take that. I got to learn to work to watch my behind more. So I do want to give that brother some respect because again, I was on the treadmill getting ready to end my show. When I was talking to y'all Instagram, he tried to sign me up so attractive, but he did not do enough. But we want that brother to be blessed and whatever he does, and he a musician, so we can hire him to play the keyboard because you know I like to preach. You know I like to sing and he know how to play the keyboard and he's coaching. He went to the Koja church, you know, because people tell Instagram, they life story. He does cogent. He took a picture with um, was the lady he took a picture with. He took a picture with the one that talked about the gays. Uh, he wear nice suits. He can know he could dress, so he could teach me how to dress. He could probably be my fashion person. He know how to dress and all that. You know, I, just a very uh type of person. Uh, he graduated, got his degree, uh, H A P B or whatever school he got a bachelor's degree from the university of Arkansas. He got his bachelor's and that bachelor's degree. So again, I'm just running a, so attractive. You just got to know how to do it. You took a picture with Kim Burrell. You got to know how to work the room. Shoot. Sure. You got to know how to work. I'm just reading that. I know I'm being no. So are you telling that man all his business? Listen, it's on Instagram. Child, please. You would have already told Instagram. They said Wiley Taraji talked about this way before she did Color Purple. I think it was the last time when she spoke about that. I'm live. Can you call in? Can you call? Can you call in? Give me a second. Okay. Can you call in? Uh, let me see right then and there. Uh, we see somebody else is uh, sending me videos that I've already seen before, and they never call into the Wiley Show at all. Okay. They never call into the Wiley Show at all. Okay. Uh, but yet they keep sending me stories that are already been talked about, so I can tell they ain't a real uh, person at all. Um, uh, so this is what we're saying. Okay, so uh, wait a minute. So Mouth TV said, I need a receipt of Jason Lee doing it because Armand is delusional for a storyline. Let me let me go correct them for Armand Wiggins, okay? Okay, I am the receipt, okay? Okay, give me a second, okay? Because they're trying to drag Armand Wiggins. Let me tell you, I am, I am, I am the receipt, okay? Just post it, okay? All right? Mouth TV, just posted. Let me follow them back. Give me a sec. Let me go live on Instagram.
give me a second because hold up one second. They trying to come from talking about they talking about Armand Wiggins doing this for a storyline. Give me a second. Uh, give me one second. Let me put this in the title. One second, you guys. I'm gonna go live on ins Instagram. Hold on one second. How do I add a title? Okay, I stand. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, let me do this because you know we the only one that's talking about Armand Wiggins. He, he, he all his little friends, Milagro, she ain't fighting with nobody. Riley fired her. You know, we'll talk about it another day. You know, Marilyn ain't not fired her. But I stand with Armand Wiggins. So again, I want you all to know because I saw the comments from Mount TV and others. They're saying they need to see a receipt. I am the receipt. Jason Lee have done this. Like Jason Lee is working hard behind the scenes. Go live. Okay, go live right now. Jason Lee have been dragging Armand Wiggins for filth. OK, making this man look like he's crazy. He's not crazy. There's really trying to blackball. Y'all need to go live and put his name in the title because y'all don't really F with Armand Wiggins. See, we really F with Armand Wiggins on a good day, bad day, always. So we stand with Armand Wiggins. Mouth TV said, I stand with Jason Lee. Well, you can stand with Jason Lee all day long, but I don't stand with Jason Lee because I feel like what he's doing is uh, unethical. I feel like it's sad and it's sad. It's giving jealousy. And that's a, a very jealous man. So I personally would like to say, honestly, from the heart. From the heart, Armand Wiggins is more talented than Jason Lee, 1,000%. When you go to the receipts, Mount TV, and to the media folks that are listening, when you go to the receipts, Armand Wiggins had more clicks and views than Zeus people. He had more publicity when he interviewed the Bobby Lights people. He woke up the streets. See, again, I know Armand Wiggins think I'm jealous of him. He think I don't like him and blah, 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 blah. I'm laying down the receipts. But the thing is... You guys, y'all only talk about Armand Wiggins when it's time to trash him because y'all don't really like Armand Wiggins, right? Mouth, mouth uh, TV, they said, Armand said that you don't like him because he blocked you. And he said that's about Coffee City. But when are y'all going to stand up against Jason Lee bully tactics working behind the scenes telling Zeus Network to not hire, telling Zeus Net, to, uh, okay, telling Zeus Network to not hire Armand Wiggins. When are we going to stand up for what is right? When is we going to stand up for what is right, okay? Wants to be so we give him what he wants. Again, Mouth TV, I want you to call in and we can have this conversation. I'm live on my show because we already get some phone callers calling in right now. I don't know if y'all will be able to hear me, but I'm live right now at the uh, on the Wiley Show YouTube page. But uh, make sure y'all can go ahead and call in. But again, I stand with Armand Wiggins. Uh, Zeus Network, y'all need to hire. Okay, Marquise Wally, spell my name right. Go to my email, send me my offer letter, send me a contract, and my people will go and read over it at wallyshowgmail.com. And you all need to hire Armand Wiggins. You know, again, I'm his handler, so you can't hire him and not hire me. You know what I'm saying? I got to be able to hold. I if I have to just hold his his liquor bottle cup. If I have to hold the thing that he put the booger sugar in, if I have to hold the pipe, whatever it takes, I want to be in a room and I want to get paid for what I do. Just can't pay me in clout. All right. Mount TV said, quote, I stand with Jason Lee because Armand never liked him in the first place. He just used him for his connection. And when he got what he wanted and Mount TV exposed the receipt, he had to tell the truth. Well, again, because I've been a fan of um, Jason Lee because I posted Jason Lee book. And talked about his book, and Jason Lee responded. I read the man book cover to cover. Armand Wiggins never read the bland book. I give you that. But I purposely, we talk about right now, I purposely think Jason Lee is jealous of Armand because Armand Wiggins had the courage to stand up. He did like to ride to be into there. Only difference is he didn't sit there and cry. He put flames to the book, and he dragged Jason Lee. Again, Mouth TV, would you be having the courage to open up your platform to at least at least shine light to what Armand Wiggins is accusing Jason Lee of doing. From the heart, brother, you got a beautiful co-host. Y'all sit there as a team. Your beautiful co-host, you sit there. Y'all sound like y'all are two intelligent um, people. And the way how y'all break down videos is amazing. I wish y'all would post every single week, but y'all post every six months or every other year. But nevertheless, it is what it is, okay? Oh, it's frozen. Okay, I thought it was frozen. So y'all got to come on to YouTube. All right, see, 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 see. Okay, they said it was frozen. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me, let me go live again. Okay. 
Uh, hold on, hold on, y'all. Let me go live again. Okay, give me a second. Let me do this one more time. One more time. Let's do a little part two. One more time. Let's do a part two. Okay, okay. Let's do a let's do a, let's do a part two. Okay, here we go. All right, let's let's do a little part two here, and then we open up the phone lines and let y'all call in. All right, so let's hold up. Now we back. Now wait a minute, because I don't want them to call in. But wait, oh, what I can do this? I'm gonna do this. Hold on, because y'all gonna keep calling in. Hey, y'all, because y'all call in late. Like when the show is over. Uh, give me a second. Let me uh, put this on do not disturb. Because y'all, uh, I've been set to call in. Y'all calling in late. All right, so here we go. We y'all come on in here. I stand with Armand Wiggins. And so let me see if Mount TV will come back, okay? Let me see what Mount TV will come back, okay? Y'all tag Mount TV. All right. So I stand with them, all right? So Jason Lee is using these material behind the scenes. But y'all don't want to believe me. Y'all can do whatever, okay? Y'all don't have to believe me. Y'all don't have to believe me, but it is what it is. It is what it is. YouTube, can y'all hear that phone ringing? I want to see if YouTube can hear it. Let me know if you can hear it. Hey, I didn't know you. you can, can you hear me? Oh, okay. You had called in. What you what what you want to talk about? Oh, you want to get my flowers? Okay. Oh, you said it today. Well, how much? Was five dollars was more than five dollars? Oh, that's great. It was more than five. God is so good. He, I shut bye bye bye. I was born on November eleventh. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you for that. Yeah, the replay is great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Zeus. We need to give her a chance. Like, like Zeus. Like, honestly, because they can't hear you. What she's saying, Zeus needs to give our mind a chance and stuff like that. But we'll bring it back. I'm gonna get you back on because I know you. You got something to say. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call you right back when I'm gonna get it on the phone and stuff like that. I'm gonna call you. Right back. Oh, okay. You just want to have the chance. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Hey, Instagram. Instagram was able to hear. Thank you, ma'am. Instagram was able to hear. So yeah, Mouth TV was saying, don't get me twisted. I love our mom, but we know who he really is. No gags. Well, I get that. I get it. And I'm only saying it because, you know, last week he viciously, uh, uh, viciously verbally came after me when he made up with his stalker. And I get that. But my thing is what our mom Wiggins is, this is why he's not likable. Because he have done a lot of tactics, people don't have the sympathy for him at all. And the way how he treated me on YouTube is well documented, right? It is well documented with me and Armand Wiggins beat, right? And Auntie Hammy was the only one that had the courage to put Armand Wiggins and my name in the title. Some of y'all don't do it. Y'all scared to do it. But Armand Wiggins and myself, we were in a tussle. And, our, and Auntie Hammy was the only one that gave an unbiased reporting. On, I, I'm the only one that feel like Armand Wiggins is a celebrity because Hollywood don't care nothing about him. And we're still talking about Armand Wiggins. No other blogger is talking about Jason Lee and Armand, but why? I don't mind doing it. But Armand Wiggins have to understand you're not that grand with those other YouTubers because they ain't talking about you. I'm the only one that's talking about you. I'm the only one that posts your tweets, talk about your tweets, etc. on a day-to-day -day basis, right? And so we're the leading voice of being critical and of lifting Armand Wiggins' show. We talk about the good, the bad, the booger, sugar, the twisted, um, uh, skelly rosa, spinal cord. We talk about it all. This is what we do. We talk about it all. We don't play no games. We talk about it all. Make sure y'all hit the cash app if y'all want to see this live continue because I will end it. Y'all need to be cash apping and, and Zell. Where my moderators? Keep posting it. Okay. So we need to talk about it all. And so the issue with Armand Wiggins and Jason Lee, yes, they're one of the same. 
But that could be still could be true that Jason is doing this behind the scenes channel that Armand should not get hired. And so I would think you now you're saying in this chat that Armand needs to show receipts. I personally think he needs to show receipts, but he was scared. Send me the receipts I posted. Like send us the receipts so the people, uh, BET and others will post it in the shade room will post it because Jason said in this group chat and different people telling them and Armand just needs to screenshot and post it that if Armand Wiggins get on BET or get on Zeus, that he will be blackballed in the industry. That that no, I'm sorry, that they will not post him on Hollywood Alike. Well, screw Hollywood Alike. They ain't got that much power like that. But I'm just I'm just keeping it 1000 percent real that Armand Wiggins definitely, honestly, is being um light skin balled by Jason Lee, and I stand on that. But sadly, the mouth TV people and others and 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 and, and coffee city, they're not going to have the courage to talk about this. We have the courage to talk about it. Malagro Grants can't talk about it because Raya Lee fired her. So again. When are we going to have the courage? Ra Ali fired Malagro Graham. She got fired. And she replaced her with uh, Lil Mo and others. And that big old man that she got on that platform. And it's doing amazing. Last time I checked, it got 80,000 views. And, and Malagro is, uh, is struggling and said, why didn't Ra pay me for those episodes? And blah, blah, blah. She, she's struggling right now. So is Armand Wiggins. And because, again, they work with these people for free. But I thought they was supposed to be a uh, Riley Cunty Cunty, Riley Fish, and, and Zeus, uh, what was that, uh, Toy Lane's Fish, and Oh My God Documentary Fish. And guess what? What does it profit you being fish if you ain't got the coins to pay for a perch or catfish? Anyway, now when it comes to Armand Wiggins and Zeus, I personally believe that Zeus needs to hire Wally. Of course, I'm in entertainment. There is nobody on television that looks like me. And then also that Armand Wiggins should be hired and we work and I work together because it will bring a lot of clicks and views. Do I think Armand Wiggins should be a host? No. I think Armand Wiggins should be a personality. He needs to be out there. He needs to be going toe to toe uh, in, in, in their Airbnb. We need to have a tussle. We need to have an argument. He don't need to be a host. He need to get them chops up first, right? Um, and we should have that understanding, and they should let Tasha K host the reunion show, but me and him should tussle in the Airbnb, okay? He don't have enough pool to be in Zeus anyway. They're looking for 50K plus uh, PSI subs from these people they sign. They can see our mind can't pull that, and he, be a side, he, and he can be a side character or a ca uh, cameo, but that disagree with that. He have more numbers than Anthony. He have more numbers than Milan, Christopher, all these other people. I think Armand is very powerful, Mount TV. Honestly, I don't know what he did to you. I don't know if he refused to give you a free call. But Armand Wiggins is more talented. I mean, his number speaks for itself. He's very iconic on Twitter, goes viral all the time. He's go viral on Station Head before that got canceled. But he goes viral on YouTube. So, again, Armand Wiggins got numbers. I mean, when he talked, the world shaped. That's why Jason Lee went over there to super chat him $500. But anyway, that's my business. And y'all business is y'all take what I say and, or, or throw it in the air and drown in it. I'm just going to stand on business. And I said, what Armand Wiggins is accusing, um, what Armand Wiggins is accusing um, of Jason Lee, I believe it. I believe that Armand Wiggins can be a main top talent and on Zeus, and so is the Wiley Show. There's nobody on television like me. I'm the best ever, and I'm just saying it per basically, and that's how it goes. And I see a lot of people in the chat. I told Jerome this. I got on the phone with Jerome. Uh, he works over there with Fox O. I said, "Why are y'all not giving Armand Wiggins a show on Fox O?" And Jerome told me he don't have no pool over at Fox O. He's just a glorified, low budget producer. And so again, he can't do that for Armand Wiggins. He can't even have me. I really thought he was a very powerful man on Fox O. He's a glorified troll on the internet. So, uh, but Armand Wiggins definitely poor numbers. I'm just telling y'all right then and there, they definitely poor numbers. But the issue is Armand Wiggins, because he's so cocky and he has all that chocolate cockiness, um, they take that cockiness and they 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 it 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 it, 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 it makes people feel insecure and insecure. It's like, oh my god, you too cocky. But he really believes in himself and I hope that he gets that Zeus Network job, and I hope I get it as well. And I will get it, okay? So uh, I, I, I personally feel like I, I would get it. But 
Do I think it's going to happen? No, because again, these people don't care nothing about Armand Wiggins. I would have told him, don't even move to California. I told him, don't move to California, ain't going to work. You can go to Alabama or California or Dallas or Chicago. Don't go. I'm right here in Chirac. I ain't stunned L.A. I go to L.A. to travel, make my money. I'm coming right back to L.A. I mean, right back to Chirac, right there, Inglewood, pump all up with my people on the block. But I ain't stunned living in Hollywood. First of all, y'all governor is whack. Y'all taxes too high. Y'all rent too high. A low budget property is worth millions of dollars. Y'all don't get enough. Of, uh, the income is can't keep it enough with the rent. Anybody that moved to L.A. in 2023 is sick, twisted in the mindset. Anybody with good common sense will go there and work and have a property in Augusta, Georgia somewhere or in Alabama or in Jackson, Mississippi, somewhere in the outskirts of Mississippi where you can have all this land for pennies on a dollar. OK, ain't nobody, ain't nobody where I'm right here on Old Block. I just got through. I'm going out here on Old Block. I'm going out here to walk my dog in Old Block. I got to go see my chick out there in Old Block and I'm having a good old time out here in, in, in Chicago. I'm not rushing. I'm not rushing. I'm not rushing. I'm not rushing to go to Hollywood. I'm just not rushing to go to Hollywood. Hollywood going to have to come to me. Hollywood is watching right now. Okay. So, but we are definitely doing this. And I'm going to call Zeus and send him an email and tell him they need to hire me, you know, first and foremost. And then I open the door for him on Wiggins. You know, he liked to cook and everything. He read cards and everything. Um, we have a good time. But my thing is this. Honestly, I think Armand Wiggins got lazy because the old Armand Wiggins will be live and dragging it. He's getting lazy. I don't understand this. He said he's going on a 60-day cleans, uh, uh, cleansing and he ain't going to be smoking and taking up the bread basket, whatever it is. The last time he did it, he worked on a documentary for free. Maybe he could work on Zeus for free. I don't know. But what I do know is I do believe Jason Lee is behind the scenes using the light skin privilege to try to blackball a very dark-skinned man, Armand Wiggins. I stand on that. Now, in my clothes uh, on Instagram, I'm live on YouTube. I am a YouTube content creator. I love each and every one of you all. We have we grow some, uh, a lot of viewership over here on YouTube. If you want to book me, WileyShow at gmail.com. If you want to book me on Zeus or Debt TV, or if you want to book me over there with Milan Chris or Ray J Network, whatever network, if you want to book me over there with Timothy Tem Brown, any network. Or BT Zeus, anything. And Robin F. Robin F. Smith, if, if you want me to take off my clothes for 100K, I am available. I only got on gray stripe pants and a yellow shirt. And do I got on underwear? Uh, let me see. Mm, I do have on underwear, but it's easily to take off. So, Robin F. Smith, um, if you want to um, throw 100K for people to take off their shirt, again, I ain't got no cross, but I sure got a permanent marker. I can draw a cross on my chest. Okay, and it's a whole lot of chess, and I do got some jelly rolls, so you'll get a bang for your buck. Anyway, um, because if Christian Keys won't do it, you know, I do it for I do it for 95,000. Okay, anyway, um, I love you all, love you all, and I will see y'all on YouTube. Bye. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Oh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway, all right. So, okay, uh, words are powerful. From Find a different way to air your grievances. Girl, bye. Have several seats. Find a way to put on a new wig. Holler and laughing at Wally. Offer to take his clothes off for 100K. Why not? I would definitely love to find a new wig. You get up on here. Go on wig, wig, wig. Go on to another platform. It just goes on another platform. That wig should be powerful. Go get you a new one. Okay. Okay. Guess I'm going to rewind. So uh, that's just how that go. You come in with that twisted up wig and you want to talk words on it. Stop trying to come over here. We're not politically correct. we over here for good old Kiki and a cackle and a laugh, honey. Just learn how to laugh. Go on, drink you some old English so you can get you can get a little loose. You go on, drink you some uh, loosey goosey so you can be a little loose. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm a whole just shoe. Shoe, the way I feel, I think about clothes for a hundred dollars. Shoe, the way I have time and inflation going up. Okay. 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 All right. I will. Okay. All right. So, okay, child, you better learn to leave while they're alone. You better learn to leave me alone on them edges. You know, 
you need the gross man to talk about me. I want to see it. Take it off while it op it. And all you, that cash I need to be ringing. And then you come on over to Zoom. I take it all off. Uh-uh. Only thing somebody sent me was $11. Okay. And I love that $11. I'm about to go to McDonald's and get me a, a, a cheeseburger on the dollar menu and get me a large, large, I'm talking about a stupid large uh, pineapple smoothie. I'm going to get me a large, juicy pineapple smoothie. I love pineapple smoothie. I only got $11. That's okay, $11. I go and give me a pineapple smoothie and a burger, okay? Now, when are we Zooming again? Friday night. We are Zooming again Friday night. My uh, uh, my follower, Pretty, said, stop. While well, you got to stop going so hard for people that wouldn't throw water if you want. Yeah, Pretty is so right. So I got to stop. See, Pretty told me to stop or my... <laughs> See, I just want to say, I like Armand. I can't, I just like, I like it. I like, yeah. It's just so sad, man. It's just so sad. Look, Pretty said, stop saying all that. And you know, Pretty is a day one supporter, baby. Pretty be watching me all day. If it was up to Pretty, I would go live in the morning. I would go live in the afternoon. I would go live in the evening. And I would actually go live when I'm asleep. If it was up to Pretty and Pretty could have his way, I'd be live 24-7. I'm just being real. All right, and people love the Wiley show. And Armand Wiggins, you in a struggle. Ain't nobody taking up for you. You supposed to be that powerful. Man, please. Ain't nobody taking up for you at all. Ain't nobody taking up for you at all. You just a whole struggle. I don't understand that. But, but that's the reminder that you got more work to do, baby. I got more work to do. You know, I got more work to do. It took me a while to get 200 people in the chat. I used back in the day for years, we only had 10 people in the chat. Ba -ba -ba -ba. But look at guy, 176 people in the chat right now. Now, wait a minute. Somebody send me some more. Somebody send me some more money. You bet shabba bye. Man, those people, I just made me just, I looked down and looked at that phone and shabba Okay, anyway, um, well, uh, and, and, and that no, you know, I because me personally, pretty, I just, I never thought about being on Zeus. Now, I've done a reality show before. I've done a reality show before, and it, we, we shot the pilot, and I was so happy. I got on a flight. I was in Orlando, Florida. I got on a flight in Atlanta, Georgia, and I think the, 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 the people over there shine. Miss Ty, I thank them all for that opportunity. And it didn't see the light of day during that time. It could come out maybe next year or whatever. I did what I did. And thank you to Sean Bradley for posting the preview of that. I had my experience. So I know I'm I sha -ba -ba -ba. I know I'm ready for television. I'm ready for television. But I'm going to continue to uh 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 thank you, Queen B Boy. I'm going to continue to uh, put in the work. I was on set. I've seen how the producers work. I met editors. I've met investors, but it's not my time. Everything works in God's time and not in your timing, but in God's time. The only thing God want me to do is face without works is dead. He want me to keep working. He want me to keep pressing, keep, uh, keep on him putting my feet to the pavement, right? That's what he want me to keep doing. He want me to keep working. He said, Wiley, you was not built to break. He want me to keep on knowing my own strength, putting in that work. That's what God want me to do. God want me to keep working. And so understand this, people. God want me to keep working. And I'm keep working. Even though it's some naysayers, you should have more viewership. You should have more subscribers. You should have more money. You should get your teeth fixed. Yes, but I'm out on your time. I'm on God's time. That's Shabbaha. Come on, somebody. So I'm going to keep on pushing and keep on working. All right? So I'm going to keep doing it. I'm not going to try to rush on. I'm not on your time frame, and you ain't donating a dollar. Get someone and sit down. Put your desperate stinking tail. You giving all you should do and give me a quarter. Okay? So I ain't studying what you're talking about. Because I'm key, I'm still working and doing my show. You think I care about what you're doing? Don't have a caller. You think I'm paying? You're going in one ear out the other. It's going in this eye. And I and when that eye looked that way, I discard what you just said. You just wasted your time. Okay? 
Anyway, now, when it comes back to me and the Zeus Network, I never tried to be on the Zeus Network. I never sent an audition tape. I never went to, 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 to Texas because I knew some of the cast members was homeless. They wasn't paid fairly. But I know I would not be homeless because I have a mind of working, whether if I have to sweep the floors, pick up garbage, um, shine the shoes, if I have to sing for a dollar, if I have to sha -sha -ba -ba -ba, speak in tongue for a meal, I'm going to, use as long as I got strength, I'm going to put work because God made me to be successful. It's in my DNA. It's not, <laughs> it's in my DNA. So it is what it is. So they said, well, if you go to Zeus, you'll give me So what? I, I feel sad for people that get beat up like you women by your men and you ain't getting no dollar for it. So why can't I get beat up and make a coin if I leave that bloody is my rent paid? Is, 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 do I got stocks? Do I got ownership? Do I got new teeth? Do I got brand new clothes? Do I got a brand new Rolls Royce? Some of you black women get beat up for free and you got kids. And you don't know who your baby daddy is. And you get beat up for free. So if I get up on Zeus Nebba and get my tail whoop, whoosh, they knock this eye, knock it that way, at least can I get a check? You better come on, somebody. Okay? You better come on, somebody. Two Jones, get so and sit down. You just not coming when the show growing, talking about you want to see me in church. No, you don't. Get so and sit on down, Two Jones. If you want to see me in church, make sure you pay for me a new car so I can get to church every Sunday. i wait. If you want to see me in church right now, send donate in that cash out so I can go to church services so I don't have to be on public transportation in Chirac. So if you go, go ahead and donate. Let, let's wait because you want me to go to church so bad. Give me a second. I'll wait till you die. Help me with that down payment for a car. I'm waiting on two Jones. Your name is Jones. You know what they say, trying to keep up with the Joneses. So you should have some money, two Jones. And if you don't, you should be keeping quiet. Just, la just put laughing emojis. If you want to see me in church, donate to the to, to the car fund so I get to the church. So I get to the church. Because you think I'm going to get on this public transportation? No, baby. I got to be able to do defensive maneuvers when I see when I see the people coming. I can't be, be on public transportation, baby. This Baby, it's kind of hot and heavy in Chicago now. This ain't back in the day. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on two Jones. Let's wait on two Jones. You see that, don't you? You see? Okay. You talking about you want to see me in church. Then when we preach the whole sermon, you ain't there. And you were the same one that said, oh, he man it. Get someone to sit down with your, with your lying tail. You go, I want to see Wiley in church. No, you don't. You want to see Wiley in your drawers and entertain and eat that box. That's what you want to see Wiley doing. But I don't want to eat that box because it's probably fishy. I'm not trying to talk about your smell, but it's probably fishy. I don't want to eat that box. Man, please. I don't even eat fish that way. Smell be fishy. Man, I, I don't even like to smell like fish after I get through eating fish. Okay? Okay? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I got a good memory. Baby, you wish you could get a person like me. Okay, let me send me a picture. If you look good, I ain't got the wish. I'll put it in the atmosphere. Let me call Armand Wiggins. He could put it in the tarot cards. And then he get that voodoo doll of you. Give me one second. Get a voodoo doll of you. And we can chat to the ancestors and get you right now. Give me a second. Let me call Armand Wiggins and let me ask him, how long do I need to go uh, uh, and not drink uh, uh, go, not drink for 60 days or 90 days to get two Jones? Let me see if he's going to answer. Okay. Let me see if he uh, – let me see. Okay, he didn't answer. It was the automatic system. Okay, let me see again. Let me let me call Armand Wiggins. Let me see again. Okay, let's see. He can get the card. Okay. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. Okay, okay. She still got me blocked. You see that? I, I was going to pay him to give me a card reading to see how I can get two Jones. But I really was going to call Armand Wiggins. Let me call him a third time because he, he sells crystals and dirt. And maybe he can read a card because I really want Kai from the neighborhood talk. Let me call him one time and see. If he, if, let me see. Armand, answer the phone. You watch him. Let me see if he answers. Okay, he's still an answer. I'm still blocked. You know what I'm saying? All right. 100 bucks for you, Wiley, to take them clothes off per your offer for Robert for the billion. Okay, where, where is it at? Let me see where is, where is it at. We'll do that right there on, on members only. 
We're going to do that right there on members only. Right there in the cash. You got to do it in the cash. We're going to do that right there on members only. Because you know I don't mind taking off my clothes on, on that Zoom, baby. We get it in on that Zoom. Okay. Let, let's see. Okay. All right. All right. I, I, I tried to call him. I tried to call him. He still didn't answer that phone. Uh, I, uh, uh, he still didn't answer that phone. <laughs> he still didn't answer that phone. Um. He still didn't answer that phone. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, get, let's see. Okay. Uh, 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 let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Okay. Uh, give me a second. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your uh? Why are your fans tough? There you real? I know my fans tough, and I'm tough back with you. Go on here and log off for us two, Jones. Now we will be in Vegas with Couture Bay. Now I will be in Vegas, you guys. Me and Couture Bay will be in Vegas. Uh, it's going to be amazing. We're going to be staying at the Palace Station Hotel. Amen. And so that's going to be the last weekend in April. I need you all to mark your calendars and y'all going to get y'all refund checks around that time too. So spend your refund check. If you can't come, give me a part of the money so I can have a good time. I'll party for you in Vegas. Okay. Uh, we'll be in Vegas on April uh, 26, 27, 28. We'll be in Vegas. So if you cannot come, send a donation to me and so I can have a good time and I'll party for you, okay? And then I can smoke your boyfriend in a pack and, 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 and we, 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 we can smoke your boyfriend in a pack and we can have a good old time in the club. And you know what I'm saying? So I drop a drop a low. I'm a twerk and do all that. And I go live and I stream and everything. But again, uh, we need you guys again. We will be there April 26, 27, and every and 28. Now, my last subject that we about to get into is Charleston White. Now, first of all, I gotta say about Charleston White that Charleston White is the type of man that he's be speaking that knowledge. Now, I don't believe that he's whooping on animals. I believe that Charleston White does a lot of activist activist work, and I believe they're trying to get him for any little petty little thing. And I want to say to Charleston White, see, you cannot try to be an activist, but then you try to troll. Either you're going to be an activist or you're going to be a true, sincere activist. Still have your comedy, but if you can't be out here trying to fight and do all this, it's crazy to me. That is so crazy. i never seen Dr. King trying to tussle. i never seen Malcolm X trying to tussle with them hands. They stood for something. They stood for, especially Malcolm X. In the beginning stage of uh, Martin Luther King, a lot of people didn't know that Martin Luther King wasn't always nonviolent. You got to know your history. But he stood for something. He said, I'm nonviolent with people that is nonviolent with me. Come on, somebody. So but you just can't be out there feuding that type of energy. It's crazy to me, right? It is crazy to me. So again, I like Charleston White, but I have to tell him, I have to agree with what he was saying because this man... Nobody paid him any attention until he started dragging and cussing folks out. He have a good point. But do I believe he body slammed that poodle? No. Do I believe he threw that cat from the third floor and threw hot oil on it? No. Do I believe he went on and backdropped that bird and did a leg drop on that bird, on that peacock? No. I don't believe that at all. But what I do believe that Charleston White Got to know he's put, he's pulling a lot of influence and that structure doesn't like when you try to uh, leverage your entertainment influence into real acti activism and to work for your people. They're going to come against you. And that's OK. I mean, hey, you in with the grace. They tried to go out the revenue chapter for tax evasion. They tried to go out to Dr. Martin Luther King for tax evasion. They tried to go out to Mar uh, Malcolm X. They, the FBI had surveillance on them. So they went through it too. So it's no different. All active. When you truly try to be an activist, you're going to have arrest record, mug shots, et cetera, because that's the risk that you take when you're trying to be an activist. Amen. So again, I know he's out of jail. We wish him well, and I love you some Charles White, 
He's amazing. He's talented. His eye is messed up like my eye. I didn't really, well, he said, I didn't know my eye was messed up until I got to the internet. I knew my eye was messed up when I was in Fernwood Elementary School in the hundreds. I knew my eye was messed up in Fernwood Elementary School. And when I had roaches in my book bag, I knew my eye was messed up. The ladies that would do, they said I look scary. I'm not forget this little white girl. No, she wasn't white. Excuse me. This little black girl, oh, you're so scary. You know, my friends, everybody thought I was scary. I can't have a boyfriend or nothing. They thought I was scary. I didn't really start picking up my swag until I got into my 30s. But nobody wanted to sleep with me uh, when I was in high school, elementary school, or whatever. Like, no girlfriend, none of that. Nothing. That didn't really start to show off until I got stumped down into the LGBT community and I found myself being a cop. Oh, well, first of all, I was a bottom in the beginning with uh, Brian Radcliffe. He was a preacher and he went on and threw that, 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 that sausage in my bread basket because he was in the military. He, he had muscles. If you Google Brian Radcliffe and find no pictures, I ain't talking about the Simba right now. I'm talking about the government Brian Radcliffe. You just, he looked real good. Must, I shot by my bar, six packs and everything else. And so that's what I did. I stood with the gay community because the women didn't want to screw me. I had an eye, had a limp leg and a, in the, in the community, in the gay community, if you got a big thing down there, you're welcome in the community. You are a VIP. I'm a superstar in the community. I can, they're going to throw this back. I got people sending me pictures and videos all over. But women, oh, you got to, ah, you got to, you got to work too hard for women, but men, you don't. Women, you got to work hard. You got to talk about their day. Got to hit on bad children. You just got to work hard. Men, you don't have to work hard. Hey, I'm about to come over. Hey, send me a pitch. Hey, I'm at this hotel. Let's get it in. We get in the parking lot. Or we get in the parking lot. We get in the sauna. We get in the steam room. We can just get in everywhere, you know, at the train station, on the bus, etc. But with women, with a lot of these new type of women, you got to work a little hard. And so that's why it's a challenge for me with the women today, because I don't have to work hard to get a man. It is easy. I can get a man right now on the phone and get him and have and just screw right that right. Yeah. But women, you gotta pay they you gotta buy the movie. They don't want to go to the movies, they don't want to go to red lobster, they want to go to high class, they want to eat lobster, they want to eat crab leg, they want to eat steak. You gotta hear about them talk about their dad, about their dreams. Then they they stand you with the yoni. But dudes. You don't even have to take to the McDonald's. You just get a little weed, and we getting it in. I'm just saying that right in there. Anyway, so, well, if, if, if any of the easy women that want to sleep with Wiley, hit me up in the DM because I want to have a good urge. Uh, especially I want to have an early Christmas gift. All the easy women that want to get Wiley something, going, nah, 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 somebody, nah, 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 hit me up. Now, all you bougie women that, that, that don't want to do that, you marry. I ain't studying you. If you want to get real wild with Wiley and teach me some things, hit me up in the email or DM when you got my phone number, okay? I ain't talking about you women that got a husband, you know, blah, 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 blah. You trying to act like you so holy. If you went on, got all that, you want to give me that little, that little gushy, gushy, come on, hit me up, okay? Okay? All right? So, no, I said I became into the lifestyle because women was very difficult for me. God is, I'm talking about my experience. See, that's the thing. You're one of those type of women that won't pay me no mind in high school and in college and different ones. And I'm to give you my experience and you trying to shoot it down. No, I'm talking about from my experience. I'm talking about Marquise Lavelle Wiley. It was difficult for me to pull women. So I just stayed with the man. It was easier with the man. That's my experience. You're not a man. And you don't have a cock eye. Both your eyes is straight. Let me see. Okay. Both of them is straight. Now you got on makeup. You got on weave. That ain't your real hair. But at least your eyeballs is straight. Last time I checked. Last time I checked. You don't walk with a limp and got mild cerebral palsy. Let me ask you, goddess. Do you walk with a limp? Do you have mild cerebral palsy? Do you got a leg brace? Okay. Let's, let's be real with that. Okay. Are you willing to date a man like that? Be honest. Or are you going to pretend to lie on this internet? Get someone to sit down and shut up. Because you don't know what you're talking about. Okay? I wait. No, I'm just saying, do you got a loose eye? Do you got you a leg brace waiting to be worn, but you can't wear it until you find a special made shoe that you got to spend a lot of money? You get a special made shoe? I wait. I'm going to wait and see what they answer your question. Okay? I'm going to wait until God has answered. But let's, let's keep it real here. I'm, I'm let's keep it real. Are you willing to do that? Are you willing to take me to my doctor appointment to see my psychiatrist? Are you willing to take me to go get my mouth to be paused, get therapy and all? Are you willing to date a man like that? Some women not. So I'm not talking to you. I want a wild woman, you know. 
You could we could be on the DL getting it in together, women, you know, especially down the Ross Wig and the projects. Oh, we could get some women in Virginia. If you're in Virginia, come on, get some. I'll go to Virginia, you know. Anyway, I go to New York, man. Please, some of y'all got man problems. I know how to solve that man problem. Bring me a let's start screwing and start going out taking selfie. You're gonna get all your men gonna come back. He's gonna act right. He's gonna try to prove right. He's gonna start paying child support. He's gonna start coming to get your child. He's gonna start doing that because a real man gonna come in. And I know how to do a great story that we go on camera. And we like, we have, I'm just, I'm gonna let y'all know, man, please. We, we just success. And then that man gonna come. Then he gonna try to prove his like, baby, baby. I'm so sorry. I miss you. I didn't mean to cheat on you. I didn't mean to leave you. I want you back. I love you. I'm your husband. We got a child together. You know, because men get jealous too. They think women get jealous. No, men get jealous too. And they get jealous, jealous. You never see it. You, you, you see the jealous man, ladies. You know what I'm talking about. I know how to make a man jealous. Come on. Let's start screwing. And, and, and it's good and it's better than his. Oh, man. Woo. Anyway. Um, uh, 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 bye bye. Shut die. Okay. I, I'm just talking to y'all because I'm about to get ready and go. I'm just talking to y'all. I'm about to go out and work out. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. My husband, uh, they said, yeah, you, yeah, you got a husband. I ain't really talking about him. Yeah. Your husband's very jealous. Oh, somebody just sent me some money for my birthday. Hey, thank you. Oh, my gosh. I love you so much. Oh, I love you so much. Thank you for that. I'm going to see your heart. Give me one second. Uh, how long can you last? I don't. That's a question I cannot answer. The last time that I can't, like last time, it was um, six minutes. Yeah. That was back in February. I think I can last longer. I was really excited. That was my first experience with a woman since about 10, 12 years. So it's, it's about two women that I've physically been inside. Two women. Two women. I can name them right now, but I won't name them due to the fact that I'm growing. So I won't name them. Uh, but it's two women. I only have two women. No children, right? Credit score almost at a 670. Okay? Still working to get it at 700. You know what I'm saying? Got a business. You know, I just registered my LLC. You know what I'm saying? Don't have any children. You know what I'm saying? Not in prison. You know what I'm saying? So don't have any tattoos or whatever. Whatever. But y'all don't want that. Y'all want that, that, that bad baby daddy. You know, y'all don't have any struggle, right? But I'm going to give everyone. Now, white women, I'm going to give it. I just never met a white, a couple of white. Yeah, white women, I'm going to give. Anyway, and then you black women going to be mad because y'all never pay me no matter. Now, when I get a white sister, don't you, don't you get mad at me, Mrs. Wiley. I don't care. And I want her name to be Karen Wiley. I was I like that. KW, come on, Karen Wiley. This is my wife. Hello, hi. I just love Wiley and I met him. I was just a fan and we went out. He brought me on his yacht and we went skiing and Wiley is just so amazing. And see our beautiful children, they're biracial. All of them got cock eyes, but it's okay. I love Wiley. He's just so amazing. I cook him, my baby. He likes chicken and chicken, fried chicken. I make him fried chicken. We're going to do videos together. Y'all gonna be mad and pressed, but y'all didn't want to date me. So I'm have Karen Wiley. Come on, Karen Wiley. He, he likes fried chicken and, and baby back ribs. And, and then she's gonna be turning red and talking to him. She's gonna be blushing. You're gonna be mad like you're mad right now. <laughs> Don't make me no different. I'm gonna get whoever wants me. <laughs> you think I'm gonna try to work hard with you, black women? Not gonna do it. I can work that hard, man, please. Slavery is over. White women is now some of the white now, even the white women ain't. I don't remember my own business. Let me stop. I'm just joking. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm kid. I'm kidding, and I'm joking. I'm kidding. Uh, okay, I'm kidding. All right. So I'm gonna give you a beautiful, thick white woman. She gonna be thick. <laughs> I always wanted a white woman. Oh, my beautiful children gonna be biracial. Beautiful, beautiful hair straight. <laughs> We gonna be a beautiful family. Can you imagine, Paul? Can you imagine that, Paul? My family, we, my beautiful white wife and our beautiful biracial children, we just thriving. <laughs> I don't care if she made potato salad raisins. I eat it. I'm gonna eat them. I hope it's the big chocolate raisins. I'm like, baby, put the chocolate raisins in there. She gonna, she gonna uh, massage. I already got the grape seed oil. She gonna massage my twisted foot. <laughs>
Maybe she go to she go massage my twisted foot. <laughs> so hey man, man, give me a deep tissue massage. I want her to massage my kneecaps. She gonna soak me in water, put milk and honey in the water, and some uh, uh, Epsom salt. And you black woman still gonna be in that man and bitter, and that made me no different because when y'all had a chance, you ain't, you ain't paid me no money. Okay, anyway, you made me know this. Come on, Karen Wiley. I know you out there, baby. <laughs> she watching right now. Okay, I'm gonna be out there skiing with that leg. You, uh, you said how I'm gonna ski with my leg? Well, I'm gonna take that leg brace and get the skin. Now, I might go on a zigzag, I may get a little dizzy, but I'm gonna be out there skiing. Uh, I'm gonna be out. I may lose my balance, but it's the thought that counts. I'm out there with my baby, Mrs. Wiley. We out there in Alaska skiing on the mountain. I'm taking pictures, going live with our camera team. Y'all are gonna be mad. Y'all gonna be upset, man. And then she feed me on camera. Mmm, just the thought I can see us right now. I said, bye, 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 bye. I don't mind going to her church. So what? We gotta sing. Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty. I'ma go right to her church. Let me sit there and sing with the people. No, you know difference. We gonna go and go to high state. No, make me no difference. Ain't gonna, ain't gonna go to no black church. We gonna go to her white church. We gonna have, we gonna have a good time. Okay, we gonna have a good time. No, you know difference. Y'all gonna sit there and struggle and be right there having and be happy. <laughs> it don't make me no difference. We gotta sit and watch friends. She don't watch live, live and single. We're gonna sit and watch friends together. It don't make me no difference. We'll sit there and watch friends. We'll sit there and watch Golden Girls together and laugh. You know what I, mean? I don't care if she wanna watch Keeping Up the Kardashian. She like Keeping Up the Kardashian. We'll watch Keeping Up the Kardashian. Hey, man, we watch Keeping Up the Kardashian. I know y'all mad and upset. We'll be watching there watching. Okay, we'll be right there having a good old time. Hey, you know, I like, I, 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 I like it. Okay, anyway, let me move on because they mad right now. They already in their feelings mad. Okay, all right. Now y'all got a chance. Y'all could date me right now or, or forever hold your peace. Okay. Y'all could date me right now or forever hold your peace. All right. Anyway, oh, this is, okay. It's sister, she's just, mm, she black too. And she thick. She keep on playing with me. <laughs> Oh man, go on. I'm gonna let me take a little screenshot. Okay, let me take another little screenshot. Okay, oh, okay. Let me take a little screenshot of that. Look like I, don't, I always wanted to go down to Jamaica now. And she, oh, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. I always want that, bye bye, 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 bye so this is what it, I don't know if they said it in Jamaica, but it just made me make that sound saying all that. Okay. All right. Anyway. Anyway. So I'm about to go. I love you all so very dearly. Little black girl, you're beautiful. Little black boy, you are enough. When times get hard to always remember to put God first. I want to say thank you. For those that have cash app us, dollar sign Marquise Wiley 28. For those that have went to our Zale, Zale, Wiley Show at gmail.com, Wiley Show at gmail.com. And I definitely want to thank you so very much for y'all amazing support. I want to thank you all so very much. I also want to thank Ra Ali for her amazing, beautiful phone conversation that me and Ra Ali had on today. We love us some Ra Ali, and we want to thank that sister, and we wish her well on her new podcast. And she, we're in talks and conversations of me sitting on her podcast. I don't know if it's going to happen. We're just in um, conversations as at, at this appropriate time. Uh, we want to thank um, the beautiful team over there on It's On Site 
for their amazing support over there. And I just want to thank all the people over there. It's such amazing. And make sure y'all go check out On the Contrary podcast, episode one. I definitely want to say that. And, and, and I love On Site because On Site is amazing. And On Site is amazing. And it's such an amazing thing on site. And we love is on site. I just want to personally thank all the beautiful writers over there on site. And it's just, it's just been such an amazing um, show over there on site. And, and I love them all for their amazing um, support and all the beautiful people, the contributors over there on, on site. We love you so very much. And even though y'all had to get rid of Malagro, you did a good job. And I told Riley, don't worry about that troll because she may troll you, but you're successful. You got the Nicki Minaj relationship. You're going to get the Nicki Minaj sit down interview, not Malagro Graham. She's a troll. She she used filters. And last time I checked, your chest me does is not soggy. And she started to proceed to laugh. So we love her so very much. And we want to continue to show her some great love for her amazing support. And we want to thank, um, again, Ra Ali, the beautiful, the iconic, intelligent Ra Ali for her amazing support. Though she had to drop Malago Grams, she mad. Um, when you're a boss, you can drop people. And we want to Thank her, uh, Ra, for her amazing um, support. And we love you, Ra Ali, so very much. And you're so amazing. Okay. I love Ra, Ra Ali. She is the best host on TV. I love her hands and I love her thighs. I love the way she talk on the live. Let me close out to my favorite song ever. I love you. Mm. You love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug with a kiss from me to you, mm. what you say you love me too. Yes, we thank y'all so very much. I love y'all dearly. Is this Zeus Network texting me? Is this Zeus Network? This better not be Zeus Network. Is this a troll? Is this a troll? I don't make me no different. Let's talk to Zeus. Is that Zeus Network texting me? I hope that ain't Zeus Network texting me. We 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 gonna keep sending stuff to Zeus Network. We gonna be on that network. Shoot. That's one thing about Wiley. I know how to beg. Okay, bye bye, sha da da da. Man, please, but I don't call it begging. I know how to ask. Okay. Hey. Man, please give me a second. Is that is that Zeus Network? That's Zeus T I N C. Is that the official Zeus Network? That's not the official Zeus Network. That's the T Room. I don't want to talk to the T Room. Is that connected to Zeus? Zeus Network I N C. That's not the official Zeus. That's not the uh. That's not the official Zeus Network. Uh. That's not the official Zeus network. Okay, give me a second. Okay, all right. Well, is that the official Zeus network? Okay, well, they already sent me messages, child. Are they on Zeus payroll? Okay, let me not say what they said in there. Man, please. Mmm. All right. Let me take a little screenshot because you know, like these people like to post and delete. Let me take a little screenshot. Shoot, I don't know about nobody else, child. I'm live. Let me see. Okay, let me take. Okay, let me take a little screenshot of that. Man, please. I don't care what nobody else say. Man, please. We here right now. I called in the Wallet Show. 
We had a Oh. What's up, y'all? Just did an impromptu interview. Oh, let me let me play this. What's up, y'all? I just did an impromptu interview. I called in the Wallet Show. We had an incredible conversation. It was crazy as hell. Y'all make sure y'all check it out. It's gonna be dropping on YouTube tonight. Um, just click on the link on his bio. If y'all watch the Wiley show, yes, your boy DQ Music was on the Wiley show tonight. And we talked for about an hour and 20 minutes. So y'all make sure y'all tap in. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be on YouTube. I was on the Wiley show before. So shout out to him for having me. Y'all stay tuned. Okay. Let me put in my story. Give okay, me one. So oh, give me one second. I'm going to put it in my story. I don't want you to play that. Okay. Give me one second. Uh, uh, give me one second. Okay. Um, yeah, so DQ Music uh, came on my show today. We were live with a thousand people watching, and we were talking about Zeus Network and so many other great people. And also, he was taken up for Taraji uh, B. Henson uh, when she was crying. And so, we want to thank DQ Music, the intelligent, uh, beautiful brother uh, from Houston. I met him when he was sweating really hard uh, when he had to audition for the Zeus Network. And so he's such a beautiful brother and he's a songwriter. He's going to be writing one of my records when I come out with my EP in 2024. We want to, we looking forward to being in the studio and burning a midnight oil with DQ music. Yeah. So I, I thank you brother for coming on the Wiley show. I love you. I love you. Okay. Let me, let me, let me tag him in there. Okay. Give me a second. Uh, Okay. Okay. Give me a second. Hold on, you guys. Is y'all still listening? Dang. Y'all in here deep. Baby, we've almost got 200 likes. Y'all really enjoy. I shut my mouth. I shut my mouth. I shut my mouth. Y'all really like this show. Thank you. Y'all really like this show today. Man. Love you guys. Look at y'all in here today. Y'all bought on y'all good wig. Look at that. Somebody said, I got on my good wig watching you. Oh, man. What? Y'all came in here today on a Wednesday. And they wanted me to go to work today. But well, love y'all. Okay. Anyway. Oh, somebody else have donated. Look at God. Oh, I can't wait till we <laughs> got to give me a car chat. All right. <clears throat> Talk to y'all later. Little black boy, you're beautiful. Little black girl, you are enough. When times get hard, always remember to put cover. And we may go back live again. Okay. Yes, EA, this started to EA, where you been? And you guys, if you want me to send you the link to the show, I can email you the link, but you must have an email that you use because some of y'all be having email shot y'all don't use. Okay. All right. So Wiley Show Production only got five people on the email list. Wiley Show Production at gmail.com. You send, say, hey, can you send me the link to your show? You won't miss it. I add you to the email list. I told y'all. I'm going to keep telling y'all again. I'm sorry I got to open it up with that. But Wiley Show Products at gmail.com. If you send me an email, say, hey, you can notify, I'm going to add you to an email list. I'm going to send one thing, hey, this is a show, blah, 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 and boom, you have it. All right? I'm going to see you the shorts, the lives, everything. All right? I'll wait till y'all say it. Okay? I just want to get Mouth TV to. I wish I could talk to Mouth TV. I really wish I could talk to Mouth TV. I really hope that I can get on the phone with Mouth TV because they be having a whole lot of stuff to say. I really wish I could talk to them because they, yeah, we're going to station here. You know, when I go to the gym, we on station here, child.
Okay. You said just keep texting me. Okay, I'm a, if I can remember. Okay, they won't answer. Okay, because they be having a whole lot of stuff to say. I'm not going to do this pre-workout because I did that energy drink. So shout out to whoever told me to take that C-L-A-C-E-L-S-I-U-S, Celsius, what I'm going to say there is Celsius. Baby, that drink is good. It's not like the Red Bull. It don't have all that sugar because it tasted weird, but it gave me a boost of energy at the gym. Um, so I need to ask Levon, do I take um, do I take the pre-workout too? Let me call him and ask him. Give me a second, you guys. We're still live. Y'all ain't calling in, so I'm going to end the show. Look at y'all looking at me with that stank face on y'all face. Yeah, um, Pretty told me that too. I love the gym. And I love what I see in the gym. And I met some good people. You know what I'm saying? I got some stories to tell. Someone told me, say, Wiley, you can pull me in just like that. I'm a pro with man. I'm a pro. Hey. Are you busy? Can you hear me? Okay, you had me on speakerphone or... No, the, um, the mic wasn't on. Oh, the mic wasn't on. How you doing? I just turned it on just now. Okay, so should I take... Then this is the pre-workout that I take. It's really cheap stuff. It's called the pre-workout uh, blue raspberry. I don't know about that. Explosive man. energy. But I, I'm not going to take it no more because you told me to take... Drink that... Yeah. So, but you told me to go to the um the thing and get the um uh you told me I got it. You the wait shot. yeah, you told the vitamin like the B Knox pre-work. I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna stop taking that, the, the one that I got. I'm a, I'm gonna I stopped taking that. I'm gonna take the 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 cells. Yeah, so I, I took that. I'm good. So I'm gonna go back to the gym. Are you going to the gym or no? Are you good? I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go in a minute because uh, I gotta be there by 10 because they close at eleven. Oh, see, this gym I go to is 24 hours. Oh, see, that's all right. My gym used to be 24 hours. Yeah, the one in Chicago, I love the people there. They still, they do the 24 hours, so I love that. Yeah, they used to be 24 hours. I know, even in tech, they used to be 24, but you know, they're crazy. But nevertheless, when me and, when me and you uh, have our gym, it'll be 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Cardi B, uh, personal trainer. <laughs> yeah, <I'm a> <laughs> <laughs> Baby Levi, he was so he was like, stop telling these people that I'm her 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 assist. <laughs> cause right, cause because people would believe that for real. So Levi was like, stop telling these people that I'm her because I said with a straight face, oh yeah, this is his, this is a team member. And people would take that. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, I said the publicist, right. I said this is Cardi B publicist. Right. Yeah, because oh, 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 Mr. Fox, I, I said this is this is Cardi B publicist. And I was just saying it so calmly. He was like, listen, stop telling these people I'm the publicist. <laughs> They take everything seriously. Right. So I said, let me stop. They don't know how to they'll take it so serious. That's why I said, hold on. Let me stop saying this because this man gonna get upset. I mean <laughs> they go they 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 gonna get upset. I know, I know you were just playing, bro. But they'll take it serious, like oh he being, you know, put, you know, yeah. But I love you though. I love you. And you've been following me for a while. But we're talking person. They said me and him were flirting. If I am flirting, so what? I, I can flirt because I work hard to sit here and flirt and do a show. And Oprah flirted. She picked up Alicia Keys' boobies and put it in her hand. So she flirt. Why I can't flirt? Uh, who else is the other lady that was deemed the new queen of daytime television? Uh, 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 Sherry Shepard. Sherry she get up there and flirt all day. But when I flirt, it's a problem. Now, if I get my eyes straight and have a six pack, you can accept my flirt. But my big fat behind is gonna flirt. Number one, Mr. Fikes, he in the gym, he sweat, 
He got a six pack. He's attractive. He masculine. He an entrepreneur. He does things. I mean, he's low key. So if I want to say he look good, I shot bye bye bye. You don't really look good unless another man tell another man look good. That's when you know you look good. Come. Anyway. <laughs> But they get mad at me. I can talk. I, I'm a very flirtatious man. Like I talk on, on my show on flirtation because this is entertainment. When I'm at work, I'm it's professional. When I'm here, I'm freaky. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah I'm professional at work. When I come in, I'm freaky. Cause I because I could really talk about the gym. We'll do a story time uh the other day about the gym and stuff like that. Like the gym, even men like being around other men. People don't believe that, whether you're straight or not. Men like to be around other men. It's it's a different type of vibe because since we got a guided train and personal trainer, because a lot of people got a lot of stress at home, especially men, right? Yeah. So the gym is their sanctuary. I have talked to some guys in the gym, no type of freaky stuff, just talking as men. Hey, you worked out? Yeah, worked out. Why my phone cut off? Because you in the, in the sauna, it's going to cut off your phone because it's going to overheat. Oh, man, I didn't even know that. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. When you coming back to the gym? I'm going to be back up here about 2.30, about 8.30. Oh, All right, no problem. Come up here at 8.30. That's what we do. Yeah, they always talk to me in the um, gym. You talk. I to work out. Yeah, I work out and I talk. I think I can work out and talk. I, I'm a talker. And if you good looking, I'm going to keep talking to you. <laughs> I ain't going to stop. Are and you, going on stage you already know I'm going on stage here tonight while I'm in the sauna. Yeah. I look, I'm just telling you, like, oh, my gosh, it's just it is easy for me to flirt with men. I just don't have the swag with women yet. Money with women is, is the swag that you can, you can be butt ugly. You got money, women gonna drop them draws. Men will drop the draws broke, right? But women, the swag gonna be for me get women, it's gonna be the money. I'm gonna have top leading women with real hair down to their ankles. It's gonna be real. And ain't gonna be no glue on and get it stitched. It's gonna be real hair. And they're gonna have thick, real eyebrows. Anyway, so... I, I, and then you only gonna have hair down now. I don't want it all because I want it. Wow, but you can trim it. You know. Anyway, but I, when you go to the gym, you sit there and you flirt and you not even really flirt. You have a conversation. I like the gym. It's I'm healthy. Like somebody said, you come here every day. I love that. And just speaking to this man, I started looking at the guys doing the weights and say, oh, let me do that, but not doing too much. Doing the lightest first and then build on that. Cause I got that gel from Mr. Fox. You got to work at your own pace. Because when I first started being with men, you know, back in the day when I was a virgin and it was uh, over 20 some, 20 some years ago, um, I had to work at my own pace and found myself. Now I'm more advanced now, you know, as a top. So in the gym, I'm still, I'm still an infant. In the, in the gym, I don't know all the ropes, so I'm very observant. Because I didn't even know on the trail, man, that you have to incline it. I learned that by talking to somebody. He said, man, put that incline on. You work your different muscles to put it on to the highest one. And I do it as a pro. Now, when I first started, I was out of breath. I do an hour, sometimes two hours. I'm a pro at it. So now, okay, the other challenge will be is the, it's, it's the weights. Because I never really paid attention to the weights. Because I'm seeing this man chest and I ask him, I'm, I'm an interviewer. Man, how you get your chest like? That's a nice chest. He said, yes, I bridge pressure and I used the weights. And he was talking about how he first started, how he was this. He showed me pictures of himself and he was chunky like me. He looks really good now. And so I asked questions. If you don't know the answer, ask somebody that got the answer. Right, Mr. Fox? That's the only way you're gonna know. You gotta ask the question. Yeah, no. You can't be shy. Huh? You can't be shy, Mr. Fox. If you if 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 if, if Mr. Fox is single, and if you want to know if he if he's single, if you want to go out for some lunch, a good old Subway sandwich, right? Because you know my income low, so it'll be Subway. Hey man, Subway. Do, do do you want some Subway? A check kind of low. Oh, see, see, he bougie, so. You got to take him out for a night. See, 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 like turkey burgers. You got to take him with some real turkey. Hey, man. Oh, hey, man. I'm coming here. We're going to sip and pay. We're going to eat turkey burgers. You want to go? 
either a he busy. No, that 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 came out though that um subway. Family. And look at him. He talk. He talking about subway. Now he he if he hungry enough, he a tad Tucker subway fake tuna <laughs> subway sandwich up. Now he doing all that talking. You know it ain't real. Let that stomach start growling. That six pack start to growl. He'll be right there. Yes, let me give me two. Yeah, so you don't eat so when now you make your turkey burgers uh, from scratch? No, I eat regular, like regular turkey burgers or like veggie burgers. You, you, he eat veggie burgers and stuff. Like he gonna tell, he gonna teach me about the diet. So you eat veggie burgers and stuff like that. Ve veggie burgers, right? Yeah. 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 You, gotta eat, you gotta eat healthy. You can have like one cheat day out of the week. Yeah, so for me, and I'm glad you said that, like somebody said, we'll talk, because like I love chicken, but from years ago, someone said stop frying yourself because I was a heavy fryer. And so now I bake, either bake or air fry. I don't put it in, I haven't done putting it in grease in so long. And hot sauce, I haven't done it in years. I, but I love it baked. I will bake chicken, especially if it's crunchy. Mm, it's amazing. And I was tying up that chicken, especially when I'm high on legal marijuana in Illinois. It's very legal in Illinois. I be tying that chicken. Yeah, so so that's how I do it. So I'm cutting out fried food, and I feel so good cutting it out. And Uber Eats, they piss at me because I unsubscribe. What do they call it? Uber Eats, some special when you have the fees. I unsubscribe for it, baby. They send me Uber Eats alert, Uber Eats alert, Uber Eats because they I, they were so used to me ordering. Every day we, I cut it all out and I bake and I will eat that bitch. And I, I love it hot, steamy. I love, I want that chicken so hot when you break that skin open and, and you get that breast and it's hot and steamy. Give me a good old juicy chicken breast, season that baby up. Man, let that steam hit your lips and your nostrils. That's, that's good eating. Anyway, I'm so sorry. You got to get ready for the gym. I didn't want to interrupt yeah. you. I, I do apologize for calling you this late at night because it's about 9.22 out there in South Philly. Um, you know. I am not in no South Philly. <laughs> 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 okay. You have a good time, sir. I need that workout too. You already know I'm about to be on. So I'm about to head to the gym now in my gray sweatpants. I always want to wear gray sweatpants at the gym, so I got to go to the gym in the gray sweatpants. It's kind of pulling down off of me, but it, it's not. You know, I'm a, yeah. I got my gray sweatpants. Oh, you 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 have an amazing workout yourself and. And, and 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 my goal in the next you know sixty days, you're gonna see some uh, another upgrade of change, and I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna show it to you first of, of the resorts of of the results of of my uh, workout. Okay. You be blessed, Mr. Fox, and if you need me to help you with Cardi B with a strategy for her next album, call me. <laughs> <laughs> Call if you need me. <laughs> Mr. Fox about to go, you guys. He's not a Nicki Minaj fan. He don't like Nicki at all. So <laughs> he stunned on Nicki Minaj's record. He said the album was trash, y'all. But don't don't come at him. He's just giving his opinion. You know. He said, man, that album trash. He was making them do turkey burgers. He said, turn that album off. Over talk. I'm playing the track with Keisha Cole. He said, she can't sing. She Nicki should stop singing. See how you Wally? He said, Nicki Minaj's vocals is obesity. It's giving obesity high cholesterol. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead, man. Love you. All right. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> Let's see, I'm about to go. 
Here we go. And we get up in here. And excuse me, I ain't got no laundry bag. And so I had to go to the laundry mat. And uh, I ain't got no, uh, oh, what was that? Oh, that was my phone drop. I ain't got no laundry bag. And so I had to go to the laundry mat. So and since I'm limited with hoodies until my order come in, I just have to watch, I mean, watch the same one, you know? But it don't make me no different. Because you got to do what you got to do. All right? You got to do what you got to do. And it's amazing. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Uh, not you finna be sticking, sticking. Jesse, you tried that. Jesse, you need to stop. I'm up here about to go to the gym. Are you talking about the stink up the gym? You had to get up on here and say, I'm about to stink up the gym. Out of everything you could have said, you about to go work out. You about to bring down the house. You get up there and say, I'm going to stink up the gym. How the world I'm going to stink up the gym when I, I wear deodorant and I shower. I just got out the shower and used that Irish spring. I make sure my lips is greasy with Carmax because sometimes my lips get dry. How do you say, I'm going to stink up the gym? I don't understand that. This is why people can't do YouTube like that when you got thin skin because you have people like that that say, quote, you're going to go and stink up the gym. Okay? I washed this. I got it out the garbage bag. Because I went to the laundromat, boo. I said, I went to the laundromat. I took a shower and I left the gym, went to the laundromat, and I saw this beautiful Mexican family. There's about 10 of them. And they had their laundry and, 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 and luggage. They were washing their clothes and drying them. And the baby was playing all on the floor and stuff. And I was on the phone with one of my moderators, right? I was washing and drying my clothes. Then I got in a lift, the same lift driver that I've seen, you know, uh, six or seven of the same lift driver because I take Lyft and Uber every day. And I made sure it was washed. And I had to re-dry the hoodie because the hood of it was still kind of damped. And so I had to put it back in the dryer. But why would you say I'm going to the gym to stick up the gym? Why would you say that? No, you because you didn't ask questions. You just rushed to judgment. Now, you can send me an apology uh, uh, cash app, I need an apology cash app because you told these people, quote, you're going to the, to, to stick up those people, Jim. You assume that I pulled out of the trash bag a dirty hoodie. Last time I checked, it smelled like tie. 99 of the most common stains, tackles 99 of the most common stains and odors tied simply all in one. Stains out, odors out, fresh scent. And the only reason why I got this, because this was on sale, I love to have this, but this is kind of expensive. Do you understand? So I used the tie 
ultra oxy because it smelled good. Oh, shut up, I But this is expensive stuff. And since I'm on a budget, y'all ain't cash up like that, working slow. I can't afford to get big bundles of this yet. You understand what I'm saying, ma'am? So I'm, I'm glad that you 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 apologize for rushing to judgment. Thank you for that. And I hope to get a, a, a an apology cash out with sorry in there and a, and a nice donation for saying that I stinky are going to stink up somebody, Jim. <sighs> Little black boy, you beautiful. Little black girl, you are enough. When times get hard, always remember to put God first. Thank you. Yes, I was serious, Bianca, because she said I was going to stink up somebody's chill. I'm just so glad that I had the evidence that I wasn't going to stink up nobody's gym. And I'm just going to let you all know that I will not walk out this house funky. I may come in this house funky from the gym, but I'm not walking in that gym funky. You are, you are a nasty man and woman if you go to the gym smelling like onions and fish. Come on now. I really hope that you ain't doing that. I thank you all so very much. Oh, it's okay, Donna. Thank you. It's going to be okay. I'm going to forget about it once this camera is off, but I had to address her because she said, I'm, quote, going to stink up that gym, and I had to correct her in love. In love. Okay. All right, Bianca, whatever that name is, or whatever, Yanni, Yanni, thank you, Miss Yanni. You got a, a terrible name that to be pronounced. I'm sorry, Miss Yanni. I don't know, Breen, 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 Advocate, whatever, uh, Yanni, whatever. But thank you for the love, for your massive support, okay? Because you got a struggle name. You better change that to Bianca, okay? You know, that Bianca, Yanni. But thank you, Miss Yanni. Okay, that, that, that name is a whole struggle. I'm not going to sit and do all that name. Stop getting that difficult name. I blame you for bringing that struggle name in this chat. I blame you for bringing that struggle name in that chat. Get that name up out of the chat and you get another name. Get Miss Johnny in the chat. Or you can name it Miss Johnny, all I care. That, 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 that name too too difficult for me to pronounce. So I blame you for bringing that difficult name for me to pronounce. All right, did you you gonna put another name in there? You already know I'm tired of you. You know I can't pronounce them words like that. You know my tongue is twisted and thick. I'm just saying, you know I already know that. Get your easy name up in here. Go on back to a simple name, Brianna or Susie, Karen. Bob, Billy, Karen, Samantha, get some simple name. Sam, Samantha. Y'all get all these weird names. I can't pronounce it. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I ain't gonna be able to pronounce. I ain't gonna be able to pronounce it. You can you can keep on. I can't pronounce that big thick name. Get a simple name. Lisa. I need some simple names. I understand that when you, you got that difficult day, you think I'm going to be able to pronounce that. I can't even hardly read court documents and you think I'm going to read that big old thick name you got. Thank you, Miss Terry. Your name is simple. Thank you, T1. Uh, thank you, T1000. Thank you. Some simple. All right. 
Give me a simple name. Live it life. Thank you. Why is he still going in? They do me like that too. We have no, no word. Live in life, la, la shay. Yes. T love M. It's time to go while you bounce it in and out. You say I'm bouncing in and out? Okay, it's time to go. Little black boy, you're beautiful. Little black girl, you are enough. When times get hard, always remember to put God first. Okay. All right. Thank you all so very much. They said I'm bouncing in and out. My 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 SUV truck is waiting on me outside. I will see y'all after show on Station Head moderators. If you all can post the after show Station Head link, if you all can post the after show Station Head link, if you all can post the after show Station, just post Station Head. I need y'all to 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 post Station Head so they know that we do go live on Station Head. And y'all could download the app, follow our show. All right. You could download Station Head. Okay. All right. All right. Let me let me post the station head myself in here. I post it so I can so uh, uh uh you all can have it. Okay, I post it in here. Thank you so very much. Yes, yeah, post it in there. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, you all need to go to station here. All right, thank you all so very much. Okay, women, the man is done talking. You may stand. You may stand at this time. I am dismissing you all. The women may all are dismissed. And we will see y'all next broadcast. We will go on a recess and we will resume more commentary soon. So the women, you may stand at this appropriate time. Man, you can sit down because y'all are men. And the women must stand. All right. Thank you all so very much. Um, you should be standing, ladies. I don't care if you're cooking. Okay. I don't care if you're driving. You should be standing. We will talk to you later. Peace. <laughs>